of Australia. Airport firefighters will stop work for four hours on the 15th of April as they demand better staffing levels and pay. Leaked documents show 13 airports across the country, including Adelaide, are at extreme risk due to insufficient firefighting resources. The strike coincides with school holidays. Politicians could lose up to $11,000 under proposed new laws to clamp down on federal MPs behaving badly. Legislation is being drafted to establish the Independent Parliamentary Standards Commission. The agency would have the power to investigate complaints against parliamentarians, bureaucrats and lobbyists. Minister for the Public Service, Katie Gallagher, says those doing the wrong thing would face sanctions. It's all about raising the culture and improving the culture of this place. I think that has happened in the last 18 months or so. I think there has been a big change in the way you know this building operates uh, as a workplace and this is an, the final kind of piece of the puzzle in making sure we've got all the systems in place to make sure people are held to account for their behaviour. Business owners in Alice Springs are pushing for a curfew to be extended to help curb violence in the community. A two-week ban has been implemented to keep teenagers away from the CBD after six o'clock each night. 25 teenagers were caught violating the measures yesterday and taken home by police. Former US President Donald Trump has posted a $175 million bond in his New York civil fraud case. He was found liable in February for fraudulently inflating his net worth by billions of dollars to secure better loan terms. The BBC's Peter Bowes reports. Donald Trump was originally ordered to pay $454 million. Mr Trump said he would appeal, but his lawyers insisted it was a practical impossibility to fund a bond of that size while the legal process moved forward. Last month, a panel of judges agreed to slash the amount, which has now been met by a bond company based in California. It means Mr Trump avoids the threat of having some of his properties seized to meet the court's demand. Now turning to 5AA Sport. Get to the Riverbend Nationals at Dragway at the Bend, April 5 to 7, thebend.com.au. Crows coach Matthew Nix isn't panicking about his side's win-loss record. He's confident they can notch up their first win of the season during gather round. Well, Jason Horn francis will be available for round four selection for Port, but Ollie Wines has strained his hamstring and will miss. Dan Houston will play his 150th this weekend. Geelong has received an official warning over that phone incident yesterday. The club told the AFL an official who is authorised to have a phone was showing Tom Hawkins the weather radar. And organisers of the Bells Beach Surf Pro are hoping to run the final day of the event tomorrow after small surf today. Now checking 5AA traffic. Afternoon at Bellevue Heights, a crash to look out for there. Shepherd's Hill Road near Chitunga Road. Crash at Clemsic as well. OG Road near 4th Avenue and delays with another collision at Seaton. Trauma Parade near Tapley's Hill Road. Got a few lays too with a breakdown at Crayford's West Freeway up track. And the biggest day is wrap with cameras today. Elder Smith Road, Mawson Lakes and Fenden Road at Salisbury. At Dan Murphy's, they don't match competitors' advertised prices. They beat them at Dan Murphy's lowest liquor price guarantee. Season and C supply. Choose to drink wise. Adelaide's most accurate traffic on 5AA. Now the 5AA forecast. Get the Toyota forklift advantage. Visit toyotamaterialhandling.com.au. A shower or two this afternoon, a shower or two clearing tomorrow 21, Thursday partly cloudy 22, Friday sunny and 24. Right now it's 19 degrees. Now let's check what's happening on Nine News tonight. I'm Brenton Ragless. Tonight, bad signs for winter. The latest ugly statistic on ambulance ramping. How Adelaide homeowners could now be cashing in on the nation's hottest property market. What's behind a surge in bowel cancer cases? The new way discount giant Aldi is planning to lure bargain hunters. And exclusive, Crow Isaac Rankin reveals a surprise off-field talent. Nine News. Your news, nightly at six on nine and on nine now. In Adelaide and across South Australia. This is 5AA. Always Adelaide. The 5AA Sports Show. Get around the little car! Stephen Rowe and Tim Jennifer. Yeah, six after four on this Tuesday. Hopefully you had a wonderful Easter long weekend. Today marks the beginning of the biggest footy festival week on the calendar. It is Gather Round Week right here in Adelaide. And let's get stuck in with Stephen Rowe, Timmy G. Good afternoon. Thank you, Sam. Yep, after a four-day long weekend for Easter, it's time for Adelaide to shine. Timmy, it's round four, Gather Round. All 18 clubs are here in SA. They say around 100,000-plus 
fans will converge on our hotels and restaurants. It'll be a festival of footy. I can't wait. We have two double four-day passes to every Adelaide Oval game. So if you are still wanting your Gather Round tickets, stay tuned with us. Also, best caller wins a $250 Shell V-Power fuel voucher. As I welcome, as always... Well, you, Timmy, sorry, but, but you're a bit forlorn. You're a bit flat. You're a bit. You can't win every game, mate. You, well, I know that. I know that. Well, no, I don't. Sorry, that's or my problem. Don't. That is my problem. That is my problem. You don't. I do expect did to win every game. You do. Did, did you have a good Easter? Uh, yeah, it was pretty busy. Let me tell you, with the state duties that you've handed over to me. Thank you very much. Uh, well, you're it was loving a really, it. It well really done. was a. Quite a busy weekend watching yeah. footy. So yeah. fitted a lot in, uh, of course, Thursday night when we were out there at the parade, went okay. in and watched that game, and then got a dose of, uh, well, it was North Central's uh, into the Port uh, v Glenelg game, yeah. and then had to do the Port Melbourne game, and then went home and I watched a few more Good games. And Yeah, that oh. was, and we picked our squad, which is in the paper today, uh, training tonight, Thursday night, and then play the state game as part of Gather so Round against the Vicks Saturday. Versus Vic. At Glenelg. At Glenelg Oval. Yeah. You can still get your tickets. God, I yeah. hope we can get 5,000 it'll, it'll be a great uh, day. Well worry. done. As part of this week is, as you mentioned already, oh, I, no. I really like it. I think that the players like it too. I think all the atmosphere coming into our town, mm. and I just reckon, almost lifts you and says, well, it's our... We won both games here last year. Yeah. We won the Thursday night. Yep. We won the Saturday night this year. It's yeah. Thursday night, Friday night. So I Let's think they've they given us the right time slots. Let's just p perform, eh? Yeah. And and all the stars are here. Like, the AFL executives here. You know, Eddie's bringing his show here. We've got our footy launch tomorrow with our footy team. Correct. Um, it, it just... I don't know. And you walk down the parade, and you actually down past... Um, on King William Road as you go to Adelaide Oval mm. over the bridge, that whole festival area yep. there, it's like, you know, when the fringe is here, Pinky Flat, it, oh, I love it. I think we're going to get better weather too because uh, last year we had that rainy day on the Saturday where it rained during the we day, did. rained mm. at night and in the port game. And, but I think this year it's going to be even better than that. We're 24s going to have beautiful all the way 24s, through. 25s. Beautiful. So great for footy, great for viewing. Okay, well, let's do it. Let's pull the, um, the Band-Aid off. Let's pick that scab. Crows lost to Frio. For me personally, calling it, I've called all three, watched, and we have to dissect it. We don't have to, we do. It is our job. Was eyes closed, their worst defeat for this year. And I'm trying to think of one that was actually worse than it. Now, I'm only going to deal here in facts. I said this to the Brecky show. I'm going to park the emotion. That will probably come. But they, these are the facts. Crows kicked 34 points, four goal, 10. Adelaide United kicked as many goals. I just put that in because that's what Will said oh, to me oh, when oh, I did my cross. Well, they right. did. Mm. Well, Aaron Kunda kicked three of them. It was a hat trick. I was hey, there. He's, he's back. He's back. Was well, that his best game ever for Adelaide United? I think so. Oh, yeah. wow. It was a really good display and they needed it. And oh, they're, God. they're building confidence. Nine points off. Can we make it? Anyway, I digress. That was their equal seventh lowest score in the history of the club. Two of those happened to be when we had the shorter games because of COVID. And you wouldn't say in difficult conditions. No. What the no, conditions were nice. No. Now, now, they've kicked 54 points, 77 points, now 34 points against teams that didn't make the eight last year. So we're not saying it's Brisbane, Melbourne, Collingwood, Port. Mm. These are teams that didn't make the eight. I'm only dealing in facts. Yep. They, they, they average exactly the same number of inside 50s as last year. Exactly. In these three games, exactly the same as last year, yet their conversions dropped from 51% to 34%. Now, that's a diabolical number. Don't get me started on inside 50 marks or anything. So marks inside 50 down, conversions are down, scores down, yet they're winning the same number of football, whether it's contested ball, ground ball, stoppages are actually up. Inside 50s, as I said, the same. In some cases, it's even better. Yet Matthew Nix, the coach of the Crows, reckons he's got players, too many of them, out of form. We, we finished so poorly. I think we, yeah, unfortunately at the moment, we're just, we're not playing to a standard that we expect. You've got a lot of players at, at the moment that are down on form. Too many for us to, to stand up when it counts. And I think that was the difference tonight. Well, I want to know the why. We've got Darcy Fogarty on. I'd love to speak to one of the coaches about the why. I know I drop form when I was coming back from injury or I was carrying an injury or I was injured or my role changed. Nothing else. They're the only two attributes. Your form is personal, but the team can attribute to it. Dawson's gone from 70% by foot last year, an All-Australian, 
midfielder yep. to mid 30%. Wow. That's half. It's a big drop. I'm only dealing in facts. Don't mm. get me started. No. Ask me this. How can Dawson, Rochelle, Rankin, Laird, Hinge, Smith, Keys, etc., all be out of form at the same time? Answer me that. Staggering. I can't. Go through the Crows' top 10 best and fairest from last year. They're all either injured or out of form. They're all either injured or out of form. Now, why are you out of form? Now, I think this form thing for me is the cause of it, the root of all the problems, is our ball movement. It's our connection. It's, it's, it's causing frustration. It's causing confusion. There's no leading patterns. We've got no shape in front of the footy. Behind the bloody footy! Again, I'm only dealing in facts. Mm -hmm. With a raised voice. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Matty Nix on Fox last night. It's still early in the season. There are some very, very good sides that are sitting at a similar record. So by no means are we, are we dropping our bundle. But, but at the moment, we're incredibly frustrated with where we're at. You're frustrated because in three rounds, the way you play, you're playing players out of form. Find out the why, please. You all know the numbers. They're the facts. We need to know the why. Otherwise, I'm about to explode. On Thursday, they got Melbourne. 2021, and I know this game vividly because I thought it was my son's best game ever for the club in his short time there, was against Melbourne here at Adelaide Oval. No one gave him a snowball's hope yep, and help. Well. I think they'd lost four in a row yep, or something. Yep. They just put it all on the line. Mm. And that was when Ned McHenry kicked it into the stand. That's right. So it can be done, yep. and it needs to be done. It needs to start this Thursday because, and Will said it, and I'm not thinking like this. He said if they lose Thursday and they're 0-4, that's season over. I refuse to admit that. Yeah, you don't want to admit that. There's do you? been 168 teams in league that have gone zero and four. Less than three percent of them go on to make the eight. Yeah, it's not a good stat. It's not a good stat. Mm. Eight double two three mm. double o double o. Tell me what part of that was was over the top emotion. What part of that is not fact? No. Have they got the answers and are you confident? Because I am. Yep. Yeah. I'm holding fire. I'm hold. I've got the reins, Timmy, and I'm just going, Nee-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-h-
That's all we've heard. That you want to get the results of that. And mm. I go back, I put it on the players. You've got to deliver. Yep. You've got to deliver. When they, cool. they can only put so much in your basket. That's right. When you've got your moment in time, you've got to take it. That's it. And I'm, I'm sure that if they keep following the routines and trying to get this goal kicking right, hopefully they'll get the result. But at the mm. moment, it's not there. No. 11, 11 missed goals. Yeah. Tw- now, I mean, the yeah. inside 50s was absolutely huge, wasn't it? We've got that $250 Shell V Power fuel voucher, eight double two three double o double o. Absolutely. I'm going to... Josh Carr uh, was good enough to give us some time. Um, he actually spoke about the possibility of a Georgiades coming back into the mix. Have a listen. Does he have to do more? Um, I think he's doing what he needs to do at the NFL level and, and, and keep improving, which he's been doing. Yeah, that that's coach code for he won't be playing this week. So <laughs> I don't think Mitch will be back in the lineup this week. I just the way I read into that is yeah. no, nah, he, he's going along the path we want him to. Yeah. And we're pleased with that, but he won't be in this week. So yeah. don't expect uh, too many changes there. I did hear some bad news, and that is uh, Ollie Wines out. Oh, oh, no. After the game, felt some soreness uh, in the, well, hamstring area, and he's had some scans, and they're saying it showed a strain. Oh. So he's definitely out for this week. I don't know how long that will be. Horn Francis has still got an opportunity to come back. That would be nice. But I'd like them all Doubt back it. in there, and especially with, I think, Sam Pal Pepper also make a massive difference, I think, to the whole lineup. Mm. So, yeah, a real, a real blow that if, if Ollie's out as well. They're your three biggest balls. You just named them. SPP, yeah. Ollie, and... Yeah, correct. Horn Francis. So they're, if they're all out, yeah. it's, a, it's a bit of a scare. But I'll tell you what, Willem Drew, doesn't he hold his hand oh, as far as God, that area goes? Great. Have a say, Port supporters, Crow supporters as well. And, and remiss of me not to mention Wayne Miller in the opener. Oh, Sadly, yes. he's out with that torn yes. patella. patella tendon that season. Oh, my God. No. Some people have no Nasty. luck. Let's go to Paraka. Hello, John. G'day, gents. I want to talk about the Crows, but just quickly, uh, well, well done to Port. I think they got a couple of rough free kicks at critical times that went against them in the momentum of the game. Just with the Crows, I want to talk about some uh, percentages that you may not have touched on. Teams that have gone 0-3 are 7% to make finals. Collingwood and Brisbane have already done that this year. So the odds that Crows make it and Collingwood or Brisbane don't are, you know, is... It's pretty tough. Also, um, Matthew Nix's winning percentage as a coach, 33%. He's in his fifth year. That means one out of every three games he wins. Now, Richmond, teams like Richmond and Geelong don't bottom out as long as we have. I think we've really got to look. Something's really got to change here. Yeah, John, we were hoping on the back of last year they might have kicked on again. A unique home style food text. I was only dealing in facts in the opener, and I did. Here's another one. Hey, Rowie. No goal for 50 minutes. That is not AFL standard. Mm. I could. We called it, didn't we? Yeah. That was a long period Perfect of time. Perfect weather. Just. <laughs> not a goal for 50 minutes. That's ball moving. I was at the uh, Adelaide United game, and my mate's a Crow supporter, so he had his phone on, so yeah. watching it. And, 50 minutes. And I was just sort of flicking back, you know, looking at Norris, and I said, what's going on here? Yeah. He mm. said, oh, Timmy, it's... It's a stinker. It's, it's a, a stinker. stinker. He was yeah. upset. <laughs> well, Aaron Kundra in that 50 minutes got a brace. Mm. Hello, Lee. Good day, Rowie. How are you? Well, well uh, he's frustrated. Yeah. Cozzy, cozzy. Well, the other thing is it wasn't a tuna to be caught over the four-day oh, break oh, either. Oh, that made it worse. Oh, that's the last <laughs> time I'm going for them this summer. Mm. Well, that's right. Summer's over. Sorry, Lee. We're all yours. And Lee's gone. <laughs> you got Lee? He's gone. <laughs> Lee! There he is. We're yours. No, Lethal. Hear him. Lethal. G'day, mate. Yeah, you were yours. Where you go? Really? <laughs> yeah. You just got out of the car. Um, That's okay. We've got plenty of time, Lee. We're all yours. Yeah. No, sorry, sorry, mate. Sorry, sorry. Um, just wanted to make a comment on your, on your stats. They're fantastic. I was... My summary on um, Friday mo- Saturday morning, whenever it was, a mate said, you know, Tex looked like an old man with a sore back. Yep. Yep. So the stats say we had, I think, 45 inside 50s and we had 14 scoring shots. It was less than half of what Geelong, every time Geelong went in, they had they scored with better than half. Yeah. Their kicks were going onto Hawkins' chest and Cameron's chest. Our kicks keep going in long and high and Fogarty and Walker are flying it to, against two or three defenders. Mm. It, it, it's... It's not so much the delivery, in the, it's 
not so much the number, it's the quality of Correct. delivering into the forward lines, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, well, it's speed of ball movement, that's all the thing. Crows used to be kicking into one-on-ones last year. Their ball movement was swift. They took the 45, they ran, they run and gun. Now, a lot of people are saying, and I did say this back in November, mm -hmm. no Rahili. Scotty Burns is in that chair. You're and concerned. again, until we can drill down with that. You're concerned from day one. Oh. The thing I've noticed too is now they're gun shy. Now they're gun shy. If they've turned one or two over, you can see the whole body language just go <gasps> like that. Mm. And it's because the confidence isn't there no. to do that anymore. No, exactly right. Have you say eight double two three double o double o. All right, we're taking your calls. So is Treaders, so is Cornsey, who are coming up on the show. Darcy Fogarty from the Crows will join us later. Ned McHenry around six o'clock before the fishing show. So lots to talk about. We've got a two hundred and fifty dollars Shell V Power fuel voucher for the best caller of the night. So share us your thoughts on the footy weekend. Eight double two three double o double o. And if you're excited for gather round like we are, we have two opportunities for you to win a a four-day gather-round pass, so do not miss your chance. Stay listening throughout the show before 6.30. It's 22 minutes after four. Rowie and Timmy G on the 5AA Sports Show. AFL Gather Round is rolling back into South Australia this weekend. And Timmy, we just can't wait to be part of this action. And we'll be live this Thursday night, right out the front of the Adelaide Oval from 4pm, right before the opening game between the Crows and the Demons. Then David and I will be live on Friday morning from 6am from the Maccas Footy Festival in Elder Park. So come on down and be part of the show. Something big is coming to Maccas, the official partners for AFL Gather Round and Maccas Footy Festival. As we all know, SA is going through a housing crisis right now, but McGain Real Estate really want to help. If you're a landlord looking to sell your property, but you're feeling a bit guilty about disrupting an awesome tenant, McGain have landlords ready to purchase your property and keep that tenant in place. The team at McGain have hundreds of landlords ready to buy investment properties, so there's no need to stress about asking the tenant to move out or waiting for the lease to end. Visit mcgain.com.au Jayco's Mega Easter Stock Sale is now on. Hop on down for exciting deals on all MY23 Jayco dealer stock. Save across the range. There's never been a better time to jump in a Jayco. Visit Jayco Adelaide today and soon. I've done this and it's absolutely fantastic fun. Gather Round is the perfect time to gather your mates and gather around some incredible local Prohibition Gin. I've been there for the tasting. It is amazing. Well, it certainly is. Now, if you've got friends coming to town, what a great opportunity to show off the spirit of South Australia. Plus, Prohibition Gin is right here in the heart of our state. It's in Gilbert Street. Gilbert Street out Straight up the road. Really easy to find, just near King William Road there. Uh, you'll have a terrific time. Um, responsible for some of the best gin cocktails in Adelaide. The Prohibition Gin Tasting Room also offers the perfect opportunity to sample the entire Prohibition range, including limited and seasonal releases. I've done this on the Popeye too. Oh, they have little that, tours down the Popeye. Brilliant. It's good fun. Well, we're off tomorrow night there. So drop in for a gin flight, uh, a cocktail, an antipasta, uh, platters, and mm. much, much more Wednesday through to Sunday, plus flash your game ticket at the bar and enjoy 10% off your bill. How good's that? Oh, what a bonus. It's time to show off our great state's great gin. Make it a part of your gather-round experience at Prohibition Gin. They're at 22 Gilbert Street City. Just four tram stops from Adelaide Oval. How's that? And what? just remember, drink responsibly. Live life to the full with Arba Vitae, the anti-inflammatory supplement made from natural ingredients. Arba Vitae provides relief from the symptoms of mild arthritis and joint pain. It helps maintain healthy blood glucose and cholesterol levels and improves cognitive performance. For Tracy from New South Wales, Arba Vitae has saved her career. She's a cake maker by trade and suffered with sore hands for years. After trying Arba Vitae, all her pain disappeared and she thanks Arba Vitae for saving her career. Arba Vitae health supplements are now on sale at Chemist Warehouse, Australia's cheapest chemist. Arbavitae.com.au. Always read the label and follow the directions for use. Your knowledge and skills have the power to brighten our world, so let them shine by volunteering at a Vinnie's store, where your passion for fashion, taste for trinkets and flair for furnishings become an invaluable service to the community. You'll soon discover how a little caring kindness changes lives, including yours. Do good, feel good and learn new skills while you're at it. Sign up to volunteer at your local Vinnie's store today. Visit vinnies.org.au slash get involved.
With more stores close to home and everyday low prices, great food lives at Foodland, the mighty South Aussies. Rowie and Timmy G on the 5AA Sports Show. At 27 minutes after four, it's our Tuesday footy review. Cornsy's going to join us very shortly, taking your calls, 8223 0000. First, though, let's check your traffic out there with more stores close to home and everyday low prices. Great food lives at Foodland. They are the mighty South Aussies. Today, there, a few collisions to look out for today. One at Bellevue Heights, Shepherd Hill Road near Chitunga Road. Another one at Clemsig, OG Road near 4th Avenue. And another smash at Seaton, Trimmer Parade and Temple Hill Road. Breakdown, slowing things up at Crayfish West. Freeway up track near the Beast Days ramp. With cameras the Savo, Elder Smith Road, Mawson Lakes and Fenden Road at Salisbury. Glenelg BMW is Adelaide's independent family-owned BMW dealership situated at 141 Brighton Road, Glenelg South. Experience excellence at Glenelg BMW. Adelaide's most accurate traffic on 5AA. Hello, Stephen. We're all yours. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this, Rowie. I don't like this unemotional, Rowie. I don't like this. I want you to launch, mate. It's time. It's time to launch. I've, I've never been so, um, you know, we were promised we were promised high speed, high skill, yeah. high score. Yeah. You know, last year Adelaide gave us something to be proud of. Um, we're the proud of the way they played. We're proud of the effort. I've never been so embarrassed mm. um, seeing what they what they, they put up on or what they really they've done all year. And to just yeah. say, oh, there's players out of form. Last week it was, oh, we're not getting our fundamentals right. It's not good enough. And I just think we need someone. But imagine being, I'm a Crow supporter living over here in Melbourne. And I'm a vocal Crow supporter, and I've got it's indefensible. I can't defend what they've been doing, and yeah. that's the most embarrassing bit. And and I've really, yeah, I'm, I haven't had enough. I'm not jumping off. But <laughs> no, hang in there, Steve. Change. It's round three. We we talk about this. Just deal with facts. They've got time. Trust the system. Trust yeah. the players. Trust the coaches that they can turn around. We want answers, Steve. They'll come, and they better come by Thursday night. Yes, yeah, Stephen. I think um, what we're experiencing here is Pompeii. It's building up and nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> and when it goes, no, but, it's going to go. No, but again, all roads lead back to the list. All roads lead back to this management. All roads lead back to attention, uh, to attraction of players. Now, they have. They keep telling me, oh, we got Rick and we got Dawson. Well, you have to have burnt them because their form's gone well, south. I'm with Stephen. The way you played last year was something to be proud of. Well, well, well that's right. Well, exactly. But, you know, others are gone. I look at Fremantle, for instance. Now, again, I always go back to Fisher Maccasy. Of course I would. I mean, where's he now? He's on talkie, slapping fishes together, isn't he? What's he, a Reiki person? Or a, what, what, you're not even playing the game. He was pick six. Guess who the very next pick was? And and, and midfielders win flags. We oh, know that. It wasn't. Hayden, Hayden Young. Young. Oh, I knew you were going to say that. Who was best on ground by the length of straight in the midfield. Led our midfielders a merry dance. Guess who was the very next pick? Sarong. Oh. Caleb. Now, just pick one of them. Just pick one of them, you pair of clowns. Hello, Stephen. Hang on, hang on. Oh, that was a bit emotional. That Take that back. I'm, I'm, I'm dealing in fact. That is fact. Pompeii. Hello, Stephen. <laughs> Hello, is that uh, Ravi and Jim? It Jim, is. how are you going? Hello, sir. Look, I, I'm a Crows member, 32 years, ex SANFL umpire, and I know I'd like to um, agree with most of the stuff that Stephen Rose says about football and his football knowledge. I can remember Rowie saying last year, and I know people have been banging on about this for years and thousands of people I know about our recruiting, that the AFL, uh, the, the Crows recruiting team is the laughing stock of the AFL. Now, whether you hold that same opinion, Steve, and whatever, I think there's a lot in that. We lack centre drive. We lack a top-class forward. We can't rely on uh, poor old Taylor much more. He's doing. He's done his guts in, and I'm very, very disappointed in Falk. Something needs to be done straight away, quickly, because a lot of people are totally cheesed off. I, I, I really feel sorry for the loyal supporters like I am. Mm. Thanks, Steve. Very emotional there, and you're pretty much spot on. A lot of people on the Unique Home Style Food Techs are honing in on, on that. Well, I've said this for years. If you were to rate the collective, so that's your, your chair of your recruitment arm, your recruiter, the list manager who oversees it all, and all in sundry, that, that collective, which the coach does sit on, I'd rank the Crows as 18th. Ooh. Well, I've said that for Ooh. years. All right. 
Someone proved me wrong. Mm. I haven't got the time. No. <laughs> We're going to keep taking your calls next. Graham Corn's going to join us after the 4.30 headlines. The 5AA Sports Show with Rowie and Timmy G. This is 5AA News. Always Adelaide. Good afternoon. Mel Usher with the latest news headlines. A 51-year-old man charged over a double fatal at Panola on the weekend has been granted bail. Airport firefighters will stop work for four hours on the 15th of April as they demand better staffing levels and pay. The federal government is planning to roll out its nationwide digital ID from July 1. The ID will enable businesses to verify you through a service linked to your MyGov account. And in sport, Port's Ollie Wines has strained his hamstring and will miss this weekend's game. Now checking 5AA traffic. Crazy Woodville to look out for at the moment. Port Road near Woodville Road, another one at Bellevue Heights, Shepherd's Hill Road near Chitunga Road and a crash at Season 2, Trimmer Parade near Tapley's Hill Road. Busy Brighton Road, Brighton Slow, Main North Road at Enfield with a camera at Military Road at West Beach. f past fees are great for banks, not businesses. Pay no fees or terminal rental with SmartPay. Visit smartpay.com.au. Season and season minimum turnover apply. Adelaide's most accurate traffic on 5AA. The 5AA forecast, partly cloudy overnight down to 12, a shower or two tomorrow, 21. Right now it's 19 degrees. We'll have more news at 5 and as it happens on 5AA. Gather round people, I'll tell you a story. South Australia has a story to tell. So, so gather round Australia. Australia. From the hills to the coast, our state is abuzz with a festival of football like you've never seen before. Every team from every state, and we welcome all visitors with open arms. AFL Live on 5AA. Listen to Adelaide's 5AA right across the weekend, and don't miss a minute of the action. Hi, I'm Jo. I'm a registered nurse, and I work with St Louis Home Care as a clinical care coordinator. St Louis was started by my great-grandmother and is one big, happy family with lovely staff just like Jo. The people that work for St Louis are very loving and caring. Whether it's personal care, preparing meals, shopping, home maintenance or social activities, we help people stay at home for longer. If you're interested, come and join us. Google St Louis Home Care today. Easy, settle down. Who are you? Jack the Crack. Whoa. Nice straight walls you've got there. What are you doing? Messing up your house, compromising its integrity. Why? See that little crack there in the corner? That's all I needed. But... Step aside, please. Don't let cracks ruin your home. Adelaide Screw Piling will underpin your foundation, saving you thousands. Fully licensed, servicing all suburbs. Go to adelaidescrewpiling.com.au. One of the best ways to see our magnificent state is through the windscreen of your four-wheel drive. And if you want to get there, you have to be, not want to be, you have to be TJM equipped. Yeah, I think they're going to make it compulsory. Um, they well, need to. <laughs> get lowers anyway. Look, it, everybody's been going around the state the last few years. They absolutely love it. But uh, once you get the taste for it, there's no turning back. But you've got to be TJM Look, equipped. you do. You've got the family be. behind TJM Italo, we mentioned him before. He's been doing it for over 10 years. They've kept us on the roads. Safety and comfort are always his priority. Should be ours as well. Yeah. They've got bull bars, suspensions, mm. snorkels, camping gear, roof racks, driving lights. They've got it all. I bought a little danchy um, swag. Oh, yeah. I mean, what they haven't got. <laughs> It's not worth having. No. Correct. And it's built for our conditions. That's the main thing. You've got to check out the newly renovated showroom, the one at Nailsworth. It's magnificent. Australia's number one TJM store. And you can visit TJM in Nailsworth and Clovelly Park, the major sponsor of tonight's fishing show, 6.30 with Ned McHenry. Here at 5AA, we're all about supporting local. Culture your cravings with Yom, the yogurt factory's new range. All local ingredients and no preservatives, gelatine, artificial colours or flavours. Available at selected food lands. Around 2,300 Australian children live with childhood dementia. But where there's hardship, there's local legends hard at work. Little Heroes Foundation is dedicated to finding treatments and in time, a cure for childhood dementia. They're teaming up with High Fresh Salads so you too can make a difference. Purchase any High Fresh Salads products with the Little Heroes Foundation logo and a portion of the proceeds support children living with dementia. Find High Fresh Salads at your local independent supermarket and greengrocer. 
With more stores close to home and everyday low prices, great food lives at Foodland, the mighty South Aussies. Rowie and Timmy G on the 5AA Sports Show. 23 minutes to 5, it's Gather Round Week and we have two chances for you tonight to win a four-day Gather Round Pass. So stay listening, your first chance to win very, very soon. Port Adelaide fans, get your calls in because Treaders is going to join us at 5 o'clock tonight, 8223 0000. Crows fans, your time is now. We're feeling your frustrations. I think Cornsy might be as well. He joins us now. Graham Studley Corns. Corns in front, takes the mark. Corns gets himself right back there. Corns, right back. And Corns with the hand. Thanks to BL Shipway, a South Australian institution looking after SA's hydraulic and pneumatic needs for over 70 years. Well, we called with Stud. We did enjoy it. And I've declared I'm not going down the emotional lunatic <laughs> trail. I'm going to just deal in facts. Which one are you, Stud? Um, no, facts. facts. But, but you can't to dismiss the emotion completely because I think last year a lot of their success was built on emotion Mm. and the emotion has been squashed this year by competitive opposition who've lifted their intensity and the Crows have just dropped them off a little bit like that. There's, I I wondered how Nixie would handle it. Like, um, he blamed the players. Well, no, well, he, how would he handle it? He's not going to blame them publicly, but he... I, I, well, in the media, in his press or afterwards, he said too many players were out of form. Well, that's right. Is he wrong? Well, well he's right, but but why would you admit that? And and whose fault is players out of form? Well, you tell me. You're the coach. The coach, the coach has to accept responsibility. He of course can't, he does. He can't deflect it, but he, he can... He, he obviously states the obvious, that the too many players are out of form. So... I guess in this day and age, the the coach defers to the assistant coaches. So they work in their little groups, and mm. and that's the assistant coaches that deliver the message. I would imagine he's got them together and and really laid it on the line to them and individually. And I I sort of channeled the inner coach, and I thought, what would, what would I say to each of those? Now there's 22 of them. I'm like, I can't go through. Each well, let me give you names, and you you right you, you do right, it. Let's say. start with the skipper. He's going at 34 percent by foot. The skipper's a good player. He, he, I, I'm 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 trusting the skipper. I'm trusting the skipper to come good. Um, okay. He he's. It's not unusual for dominant midfield midfielders to have low percentage yeah. of efficiency. So, uh, Jordan, you you know what you have to. I'm leaving. I'm leaving it to him. He's he's okay. battling. He's got. He got plenty of the ball. He was probably their best player, even though he didn't get maximum use. So I'm I'm not laying it on the line to him. He knows his responsibility right. as captain. What are you saying to Rory Laird? Rory Laird, I love the way you get the ball. Um, you, you're not hurting the opposition. We're not penetrating enough with you uh, with the, your disposals. We need, and we need you to be moving the ball on a lot more quickly. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm considering you putting you back to half back. With Wayne Miller is out this oh, week, okay. uh, Rory. I think uh, we might we might revisit uh, your. Well, I'd do that. I think they'll go for Nan Curvis. Here's mm-hmm. one because we got him on after five. Right, on. Darcy Fogarty. Yeah, Darcy. It's time. It, it, we've been patient with you, Darcy. We've got all of this potential. You've, we've seen the great things you do. You just don't do it often enough. Now, yeah. he's limited by opportunity. So he went inside 50 less than Fremantle yeah. did. The ball delivery wasn't all that good. But I think, Dar, Dar, Darcy, it's time for you to take the number one mantle. Mm-hmm. Taylor Walker's... He had a great year last year. Yes, he had his best year ever, and you might, might have played second fiddle to him. But this is your time now, yeah. and he's, you've got the talent. You've got everything there. What we need to be doing is giving you good service, that, yeah. and you're not, we, you're not, not getting, getting that. I'll speak to that. Would you play Tex this week? Um, it, it's up to him. You know, if he's, he he didn't look fit. God, he's just not moving. He didn't. Well, he, didn't he? he looked as though he was. I saw him trying stiff. to soccer off the ground again, Graham. Yeah, but that's okay. It's always an indicator. Um, yeah, that's that, that was a, that was a, 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 he missed it. <laughs> I was watching him try to chase a couple of times, and that's difficult for he someone. He looks sore. He does look sore. And he doesn't. He looks out of shape. So, it, that again is up to him. I think we'd have a big serious discussion come okay. today to, because they play when? Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, yeah. Melbourne. They can win that. Yeah. Um, Ned McHenry, did you see him um, yeah, address the team beforehand? I, I thought. Did you, Timmy? <laughs> no. He, no. Prior to the game, the started, yep. he did that. He did coin before. toss, <laughs> and I saw his carotic artery. <laughs> I saw he, he was. <laughs> is that what it is? What <laughs> artery is that in the neck? Oh, yeah. Whatever. Who's that coach? <laughs> Parker, David Parker. Parker. Mm. carotid, I think, yeah. carotid, carotid. Yeah. Oh, I think so it was carotid. He did the, oh yeah. God, he was. 
he, and, and 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 you'd have to say it worked, it worked. because they they didn't mm. start slowly they started yeah. really well they just couldn't sustain it so I wonder what he said. Now you guys will have him on at some stage, yeah, won't you? Tonight, yeah, six on tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Have to, have to, have to, we'll find out because it's not not part of the leadership group, is he? No. But I thought no, it's not. That's um, good leadership. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I thought well, it was it unusual. I mean, look, go back to the Richmond, um, you know, years when they were dominant. They, they would have the, somebody address the team mm. pre-match mm. and they'd have a laugh. Yeah. That was up to someone to tell a joke. Now I don't think they had told a joke. No. But. He seemed to fire them up, and he no. got in. He kicked a beautiful goal himself. Well, well Jimmy then... Stud called the game with us Man. and Sam at about the 20-minute mark of the first quarter. We had 10 inside 50s. We were scoring yeah. like there's no tomorrow, and I declared that they were back. Yeah, you're a bit early. And I went, they're back, <laughs> and I went, there you are. And the minute I said, there you are, they started to draw up that ball <laughs> movement. So Stud blamed me. Wow. <laughs> How do they regroup from here? Well, Stud? you can. Football is a remarkably rich. If, 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 if you can... If you can emphasise their confidence or bolster their confidence and give them hope and um, opportunity, so many times you've seen teams that have struggled come out and cause an upset. And, yeah. it, and it gets down to the contest. It gets, it gets down to that initial contest. Yeah. And they, they're they being matched in the contest by opposition players. Now, when they had their you know unexpected wins last year, they have come in... Their best against, footy was against the top four teams. Because the top, the top, yes. team, the top team think, oh, it's only Adelaide. You know, but but the yeah. the hunter gets after them. You know, they they've, mm. I, they've been strutting around. Not strutting. That's probably too harsh. They've been overly confident that it's just going to happen this year. Do you reckon? Oh, I think so. And I, okay. it's, an, it's a or his expectations. It's, gone. A, it's a theme that that's okay. what I've been um, expounding lately. And one of our callers on Saturday morning said exactly the same thing. And I, and I interviewed three AW Rowan Connolly. Uh, I was interviewed on 3RW on Saturday afternoon. Rowan Connolly made a remarkably similar comment that, you know, the expectations mm. were they're just going to uh, improve and subconsciously did they think it was just going to happen. So you've got to, re re you've got to regroup, you've got to reset and you've got to re-establish the goals. And, and Well, how much do you blame then percentage-wise on the pre-season of ball movement, the more so uh, the expectation that it was just going to happen? Well, it's a combination of both because mm. their ball movement's been shocking. There's been, oh, poor. And, and, I, and I know that there was an emphasis on defence, but their team defence is leading them down badly. There was mm. too many Fremantle players were able to find space and time. Now, if, you want, if, you, if your team defence is successful, it doesn't matter where you're playing. The, the opposition has no time and no space, it's particularly space. But I don't think their ground's particularly big. Uh, Ad Adelaide... Didn't yeah. have any time with up there. They had no, no. time or space to, to use the ball. So they kicked four goals for the whole game. Went without a score for fifty minutes. Again, facts. No, but wanna... halfway through the third quarter, they got within one point. Mm. Four mm. seven to four six. Yeah. That way, when Shoal kicked that goal, so mm. that, so they were in that game. Saligo kicks that goal that he missed. That was a big miss. Last term. And the yep. last term. And they're well and truly back in. I think the score line was unkind to them because mm. in the end it was an easy Double win. Double the score. But, yeah. but that they were in that game until halfway through the last quarter. So yeah. it's not completely okay. desolate. It seems like it <laughs> oh, is. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's not, but it's, there's things to work yeah. on. They've got a... Um, I don't. Know, why didn't they use all their interchange players? Because they look like some. Some look like they're out on their feet too. They they only use fifty nine of the seventy five interchange players. Oh, the interchange, interchange rotations. Interchange, rotations. Sorry, rotations. Sorry, rotations. Yeah. yeah. So now whether that's because Miller was injured, but um, I, you know, would have thought we so can explore the, that. The comment I, was that they didn't look fit. Okay, I want to play this grab. This was Matthew Nix on Fox Footy. It's a combination of things. Yeah, there's there can be the you know. Um, at times you may overcoach. At times there might be a little too much detail. You might be focusing on the wrong areas. Now you feel like you're so far away, but internally here, we know there's a few things we're not getting right. And so we'll be able to, I guess, right the ship. We know we're going to get our, our game back. Focus on wrong areas, well, which I think is too much defence when they're one woods attack. But the overcoaching comment, can you? You can't overcoach. You can make guys. T t you can you can crush guys' confidence by well, that dema all demanding form, demanding, look, demanding yeah. too much of. The, what I'd be what he what I what I'd be doing. What does that matter? Um, what he should be doing is encouraging to take the guy. The, they're not taking the game on no. like good teams do. And we saw again it was Jake Saligo in the last quarter in the back pocket took him half back flank mm. took a mark. 
he had, all he had to do was wheel around onto his right foot, play on through back through the midfield, and there there yeah. has to be players loose by. But yeah. he goes back, stops, starts. Yeah. Um, too many of them do that. Too many of them aren't prepared mm. to take the game on. So I'm sure Nixie will be emphasising attack at, well, at all costs. Let's hope so. We've got that $250 Shell V Power fuel voucher. Best caller. And after the break, we're going to get them all for start. We certainly are. But right now, if you want a chance to win a Gather Round four-day pass, we have that for you. It's the ultimate Gather Round experience. Call in now, 8223 We're going to play nearest the pin. If you are one of our first five callers through, you will be playing off for this four-day pass. They are sold out every single game of Gather Round, so you don't want to miss this chance. But first, let's check your traffic. Afternoon at Woodville, a crash there, Port Road near Woodville Road. Another collision at Bellevue Heights, Shepherd's Hill Road near Chichunga Road. Road, slow going city bound, and a crash at Seaton Trimmer Parade near Tapley's Hill Road. Works at Cowandilla, Marion Road near Sir Donald Rabber Drive, speeds at 40 k's there with cameras the Savo, Main North Road, Jeps Cross, and Martins Road at Salisbury Downs. Cansey apples are the perfect, fresh, healthy snack, sweet and tangy with a delicious, juicy crunch. Experience the power of great taste. Grab a Cansey at your local supermarket or greengrocer. At Lades Most, accurate traffic. On 5AA. The 5AA Sports Show. Rowie and Timmy G. How awesome. Mawson Lakes Volkswagen has plenty of Tiguans and Amaroks in stock. Tiguan Allspace is a seven-seater with plenty of room and plenty of smarts featuring auto park, adaptive cruise control and lane assist. And the latest generation Amarok has a big one-tonne payload and 3.5-tonne towing capacity. But inside, you'll get all the comforts of a luxury vehicle. There's plenty of stock that must go. Hurry in for a deal. Mawson Lakes Volkswagen, Salisbury Highway, just a short drive from the city. Foster Campbell! If you get a dry throat barracking during Gather Round, remember to go the camels and score Corona or Carlton Draft 24 pack just $59.99 each with a bonus $3 camel cash on your loyalty card. Wild Turkey Original Cola Cans Limited Edition 12 pack $53.99 plus Jack Daniels Black Label 1 litre $75.99 with $4 camel cash. Go the camels at any of our thirsty camel bottle shops. Why so serious? Drink responsibly. Even camels get thirsty. Is there anything better than a dip in your own pool on a hot summer day? Unbelievably, you could do that Sunday. Did it Sunday. Sure, pools can take a bit of time and money, but they are worth it. But during the winter, when you're not using it, it can feel like a real drain. Ken, now the smart thing to do is put your pool to bed. Get yeah. a Walco Guardian pool cover. Walco! As simple as that. Uh, it'll preserve your chemicals, it'll keep your water clean, and you won't need your pump. Just think about the money you'll save and the hours that pump's just... <laughs> It is an amazing thing. Oh, I know. Uh, did it a couple of years ago. It's just been the best thing ever. Then, as soon as the warm weather returns, you just take it off the Walco Guardian pool cover and you're there, ready to dive in. The water is that clean. It's unbelievable. No green, gooey swamp. No. It'll <laughs> no. be clear, cool, and ready to take on another big summer. So do this. Get your pool a Walco Guardian pool cover for winter now. Walco.com.au. Blanky. Hey, okay, everyone. I've got the KFC. With KFC's $8 boxes, you can shout your mates and your mate's very attractive friend. Just pick from original recipe, wicked wings, original tenders or nuggets. KFC's $8 boxes. They're a great shout. Not everywhere and not forever. Online only. T's and C's apply. Struggling with your CPAP therapy? Try the world's first auto-fitting mask from Fisher & Paykel Healthcare. Respirica Healthcare is offering the Fisher & Paykel Sleep Style device for 30% off, plus a free solo mask valued at $310. Visit one of six Respirica clinics and mention this ad to redeem this offer. Respirica Healthcare, proudly serving South Australia for 20 years. When considering whether CPAP is right for you, speak to your doctor. Always follow the directions for use. When you want a retractable door screen, you want uninterrupted views and natural ventilation combined with protection from insects. You want phantom screens. Our custom-made retractable door screens can be colour matched to your existing decor and span up to 7 metres wide. And they disappear out of sight when not in use. A screen that's there one minute, gone the next. From the hills to the coast and everywhere in between, let the fresh air in with Phantom Screens. Get inspired online at phantomscreens.com.au. 
With more stores close to home and everyday low prices, great food lives at Foodland, the mighty South Aussies. Rowie and Timmy G on the 5AA Sports Show. Nine minutes to five. Cornsey's here for BL Shipway. We've got Treaders coming up at five o'clock and we're loving your calls. 8223 0000. The $250 Shell V Power fuel voucher to give away for the best caller tonight. But right now, we are giving away the ultimate gather round experience. If you want this, Timmy, here's Byron. What a day. Okay. Here we go, Byron. You're ready to go. Here's Graham Corns with a question. Byron, I, 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 I'm going to keep this for myself, but that boy said I'm not allowed to. Tony Lockett <laughs> holds the VFL slash AFL goal kicking record. How many behinds did he kick in his career? And I'll give you a clue. It's between 500 and 600. Uh, 562. All right. Okay. All right. This is nearer the pin. Hello, Julie. Hello. Julie, how many behinds did Tony Lockett kick? Between five and... 571. Okay. 571. Julie. Russell? 545. 545. Okay. Robert? 521. 521. Here's an opportunity. Mike? Mike? 520. Two. Oh, mate, you went the wrong way. The winner is... Yeah. Da, 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 da. Julie! Julie. <laughs> <laughs> the answer was 590. How good's that, Five. Julie? Oh, that's brilliant! Brilliant! Yeah. Well, what I... a guess! <laughs> Access to av- every Adelaide Oval game for the weekend. Four-day well, pass from Thursday to Sunday. Enjoy that, Julie. You better pick Thank them up, you. Julie, because I'll pinch it if you don't. <laughs> 1,360 no, goals. Say. Where you go, Julie? Sorry? Oh, you're right. Thank you. You'll enjoy that. 1,360 goals, 590 points. He was a legend. And we're going to do that all week, which is fantastic. What Adelaide need him. Another chance for you later on tonight. Yeah, that's a good point. Hello, Martin. G'day, Riley. Um, This might be a bit of an unpopular opinion at zero and three, being an avid and passionate Crow supporter. Mm -hmm. I think we've peaked. I I think we've peaked since last year. I think we're going backwards, and I don't see anything that shows us going forwards at this point in time, given the fact we played last year's 12th, 14th, and finished 15th place teams. I don't think the cattle's there, and I think it's time to really look at who we play in the next few weeks, no matter who we play. Not we a- need to bring in some guys that go back to what our strengths were from last year. They're just not showing this year with the cattle that's on the ground. Well, you're right. Um, but um, it's not unusual to go backwards, you know, in a rebuild. I did, you know, wouldn't be totally unsubmit. The the issue is, who do you bring up? Who's shown form in the? I think Dowling showed a bit of form back there. So young Curtin, he might come up though, or they might expose him. They may not. But Nan Curvis, there's nobody really knocking on the door. How far backwards, Martin. though, Graham? That's probably. You know, a little, well, but yeah, but the problem is, is the best 26 thanks, is good enough. Now thanks, they've Martin. got a lot of people. Butts might be back. Nix is out. Walker's back's clearly stuffed. Phil Thorpe's cooked. I mean, God, the cupboard's bare. Hello, John. Hello, gentlemen. How are you going? Well, thank you. Um, Rowie, you said earlier uh, one of your statements were got to trust the process and trust the system. I... I, I I'm finding it hard, really hard, to trust anything that this club is doing of recent times. Oh, I've that's lost a complete. Harsh, harsh yeah, job. Well, well, sure, it's it's harsh, but you know what? It's a harsh competition. I, I'm I'm finding it really hard to justify some of the things that this club has done. I've lost, I've actually lost faith in the way the club is run. Well, the give, people give that us, are run. No, well, give us an example. You can't make well, these accusations. Yeah, okay, sure. I could go back to Rob Chapman's uh, reign when... Uh, hang on, um, he's, got, the, he's gone. He's got the, you can't go yeah, back. No, he's gone. You, but you can't, what I, what I, you can't on, go let there. Me let me, yeah, I can. Because you, this, you is, this is an outcome. The, this you, is, hang on. You Graham, cannot go there. You ask the question. You ask the question. Well, I want to know now. I, okay, I'll right? let you answer it, but you can't go okay. back five so, years. So we had, we, had, we had Rob making certain statements in the media in the last year that um, Don Pike... Um, uh, uh, was coach. He then came out and contradicted himself 
at John, the, you're at going the, back too far. Right, there's there's Graham, time a change. You know, it's, a, Graham, it's a ridiculous argument. I'm not going to let okay, you do it. Well, let, let's go. Where's our recruiting going? If we're talking about our current coach, right, do you think, and you, you can make all the excuses that you like, yeah. this is the fifth year of our current coach, right? Mm -hmm. we, we are not playing as we should be for a team that we're talking about is rebuilding. Our recruiting's been awful. We've seen then three, you've seen the, you've seen three games. Graham, you've seen three Graham, games. Graham. No, I haven't. I've, I've seen five years well, hang on. of We're one, one kick away from making the finals last year. You've That's seen, last year. You've seen three games this year. That's last year. And it looks, it looks go dismal, I That's know. That's last year. But it's three games. Graham. I've rung up to, to say something yeah, but you've and got to, you, you've done you, you is butt in and yeah. butt in and butt in because, and butt in. Because I disagree vehemently with what you're trying well, to... Well, that's okay. You can disagree, but at least hear me out. I've heard you What's out. the point of me ringing up to say something? I need to listen to you. What are you saying that's current? Well, I've just told you. Do you have no, faith you, well, you in where this club you, you, you went back to... Do you have faith that this club... Do you yes, have I faith do. that this club has the right people in the right spot to make the right decision. Yes, I do. I don't. Okay. And, 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 and the results point in favour of me, not you. Okay, fair enough. Well, wait Thanks, John. Thanks, you got John. it out in the end. Sorry. I'm with you, John. Hello, Mike. Um, hey, boys. I am ringing for that exact reason that John just called for, but I'm going against him. The, um, the Adelaide Footy Club are a very powerful club with a lot of supporters. And too many people in the last week are just being too negative about it. And if we just if we sit back and we actually have a look at the numbers, we're not that far off. And a lot of people are asking for Nix's head already. He's a very, very, very good coach that set up that footy club in a very good way. And we hear that word patience a lot, but with what he's doing with a lot of those young kids, he will get them to where he wants to get them to. And I, Roy, you said before that the Crows can beat Melbourne. I reckon I'm with you. Um, I just... I can see them winning. They've just got to they've just got to beat Petrarca, Gorn, and Oliver in the middle, um, and Viney. And I know they can do that. How do you think they're going to do that as well, mate? Start so, well. It's simply, it's, it's simply a matter of the contest. So many times you te see teams with inferior talent take it right up to teams the, the so-called higher ranked teams because they make a fierce contest and they make it consistently long enough for the four quarters. Now that's their challenge. If they can make the contest fierce mm. enough and desperate enough and win enough of the ball, give their forwards opportunities which they're not getting, they can win. Yeah, re, re, re their DNA is how I'd put it. And last year was on the back of competition and ball movement. I've not seen either of them so far. So, hey, before you go, Tom yeah. Hawkins on the phone, just got a slap on the wrist. If that no, was Tex, he would have got a $100,000 yeah, fine. Well, you're probably oh. right, but Tom didn't do anything wrong. The no, mate, well, I know. No, his but... mate says, look, look, look at the rain coming in. He's, okay. he's a full forward. He's got to know what was a bit of a storm in the teacup, to be quite frank. Okay. So, there's a storm yeah. outside too. <laughs> uh, now look, BL Shipway. Um, Shippy, did you think to... that was funny, Sammy? No, just got no <laughs> response. <laughs> he, you've done very, a Jim Shinova. He was very happy with he, his he work. He was very happy with his work. Very very happy. Come on, you Hang interrupting on. started yeah, BL well, Shipway. Come on, Sh Shippy's paying for this. <laughs> BL Shipway's been looking after <laughs> hydraulic and pneumatic needs since 1953. So all your truckers out there, all farmers for seeding or anyone with hydraulic equipment, they have a bigger and better showroom. Oh, it's a location. There's more than a showroom. It's a workshop. It's everything. Great parking. BL Shipway, 71 Morford Road, Camden Park. Tell them Rowie, Cornsey and Timmy sent you. <laughs> awesome. No better well done, direction. Start. Five o'clock news. Treaders to join us on the other side. Rowie and Timmy G on the 5AA Sports Show. The news and information that matters. This is 5AA News, always Adelaide. A shower or two this afternoon, a shower or two clearing tomorrow, 21. With the 5 o'clock news, I'm Mel Usher. Something big is coming to Maccas, the official partners for AFL Gather Round and Maccas Footy Festival. A 51-year-old man has fronted court via video link over a double fatal at Panola on the Easter weekend and been granted conditional bail. It happened on the Riddick Highway at Panola on Sunday. He was charged with causing the death of two people and two counts of causing harm by dangerous driving. A male aged 62 and a woman 54 died at the scene. Two other women, 42 and 69, suffered serious injuries which are not life-threatening. 
Airport firefighters are demanding minimum staffing levels at airports across the country. Leaked documents show 13 major airports, including Adelaide, are at extreme risk due to understaffing. Members of the United Firefighters Union's aviation branch are launching strike action on Monday the 15th of April in response. Branch Secretary Wes Garrett says they're also seeking better pay, among other demands. There's 26 items in our log of claims and there are 26 outstanding items currently in our log of claims. That is, none of them have been accepted and we've been bargaining since October last year. Air Services Australia is condemning the strike. Well, work is underway on new laws which could see politicians have their salaries docked for bad behaviour. More from Michael Packey. Politicians across the aisle are drafting legislation to establish a new body to investigate allegations of misconduct among MPs, senators, bureaucrats and lobbyists. It's hoped the Independent Parliamentary Standards Commission will be up and running by October. The commission is expected to have the power to sanction MPs who misbehave, which could include a 5% salary reduction and even suspension from Parliament. Minister for the Public Service Katie Gallagher says work on the legislation is happening in good faith. What the final form of that looks like is still to be determined. The commission is likely to be made up of six dedicated officials. The federal government is asking Israel to explain what led to the death of an Australian aid worker in Gaza. Aid organisation World Central Kitchen has confirmed seven people have been killed in an apparent Israeli airstrike. Somi Frankham was among them. Her family say they're shocked by her death, describing her as a selfless and compassionate human. The group killed also included people from Poland, the UK, America and Palestine. SA will be on full display on national TV tonight as the countdown to Gather Round continues. The Gather Round Spectacular is being held at the Entertainment Centre and will be broadcast on Channel 9. Host Eddie Maguire loves the way the concept was embraced in its opening year. I thought what was great was the South Australian football public really got behind it, you know, and enjoyed the fact that all the people are over there and the economic stimulus that that, that meant and the, the need for this to be a success first year. And now we can go to the next level. Now turning to 5AA Sport. Get to the Riverbend Nationals at Dragway at the Bend, April 5 to 7, thebend.com.au. The Crows coach says it's not panic stations at West Lakes, despite the disappointing start to the season. He's confident they can notch up their first win of 2024 against Melbourne on Thursday night. Wayne Miller is out for the season after rupturing the patella tendon in his right knee. Matthew Nick says Lachlan Murphy will be sidelined in the short term. Murphy's going to be you know, possibly anything up to you know, three to five weeks uh, with his knee injury. So we're going to have a couple of force changes. We have some players that are playing at SNFL level that have been unlucky not to play in the first couple of rounds, that have shown some really good form through pre-season, so they're knocking on the door. Port play Essendon Friday night. Jason Horn francis will be available for selection, but Ollie Wines has strained his hamstring and will miss. Dan Houston set to play his 150th game. When I got drafted, the first thing was I just wanted to play one game, and then once I wanted, played one you know, and got a taste of it, I just wanted to keep playing, and definitely wasn't you know, in my goals or in my sight, but to, to get here is you know, a huge achievement for me from where I've come from, and I'm really proud of it. And the AFL has issued Geelong with an official warning after Tom Hawkins was caught looking at a phone during a break in play yesterday. Now checking 5AA traffic. At Allaby Gardens, a crash there, Grange Road at East Avenue. Another crash at Woodville, Port Road near Woodville Road and a crash at Seaton Trimmer Parade near Tapley's Hill Road. Works at Cowandilla, Marion Road near St Donald Bramber Drive are pretty slow and we're getting busy for activity at Kidman Park. Finden Road near Dillon Avenue speeds at 25. Cameras Military Road, West Beach and Montague Road at Cavern. When the lucky country isn't so lucky, lucky you're with Amy. Before buying insurance issued by Amy, read the PDS and TMD at amy.com.au and consider whether it's right for you. Adelaide's most accurate traffic on 5AA. Now the 5AA forecast. Get the Toyota forklift advantage. Visit toyotamaterialhandling.com.au. Partly cloudy overnight down to 12, a shower or two tomorrow, 21, Thursday, partly cloudy, 22, Friday, sunny and 24. Right now it's 19 degrees. Now let's check what's happening on Nine News tonight. I'm Brenton Ragless. Tonight, bad signs for winter. The latest ugly statistic on ambulance ramping. How Adelaide homeowners could now be cashing in on the nation's hottest property market. What's behind a surge in bowel cancer cases? 
the new way discount giant Aldi is planning to lure bargain hunters. And exclusive, Crow Isaac Rankin reveals a surprise off-field talent. Nine News, your news, nightly at six on nine and on nine now. Make an impact and help medical research. If you're 18 to 65 years old, in good general health and not allergic to penicillin, help trial a potential new treatment for infections in a study at CMAX Clinical Research. Spend 14 nights at our clinic in Adelaide CBD and be paid generously upon completion. Want to participate? Look for the Broad Spectrum study on our website and apply today. Visit cmax.com.au to apply. That's cmax.com.au. You know when you really need to go? You can't hold on any longer. You'll do almost anything. Well, that's what it's like at Edwardstown Mazda right now. They have a ton of demo Mazdas that really need to go. All colours and models, all barely driven and all ready to go at unbelievable driveaway prices. Buying a demo is a great way to get into your dream Mazda and buying it from Edwardstown Mazda makes it extra special. Demo sale on now. It's gotta be. Edwardstown Mazda. Southern Steel Supplies, a company forged over 40 years ago, has supported those building our great state. From DIY home projects to major commercial construction and trade, you'll find Southern Steel in buildings and backyards all over South Australia. So, if it's steel you need, we have it all. With steel processing cut to any size or shape, delivering near and far. Southern Steel Supplies, Lonsdale, Murray Ridge, Gawler and Renmark. SouthernSteelSupplies.com.au The South Australian Steel Company. NRG Solar have moved to a new location. It's bigger and better, and their new warehouse is fully stocked with wholesale solar and battery equipment. So, if you're looking to save money on electricity and help our environment, don't wait. Visit NRG Solar at their new office on South Road St Mary's, where every three customers refer someone they know, which means they must be doing something right. Call into NRG Solar at their new premises, 1275 South Road, or visit nrgsolar.com.au. If you're building a home, the Selector Homes Display Village is a great place to start. Your ideas and imagination will flow. There's nothing else quite like it in Adelaide. Different homes for different lifestyles, all in the one location. Walk through the sanctuary. It's simply stunning, with an incredible Jarrah facade, polished concrete floors, and a sensational use of space. Explore the Selector Homes and Building Solutions Display Village, Port Wakefield Road, Burton. Visit selectorhomes.com.au. Hey you, right now you're listening to a radio ad about DAB Plus Radio on the radio. Think about it. It's like the cells inside your brain that's inside your head that's on top of your body are informing you that you can listen to this station in digital quality on a DAB Plus radio for free or on a smart speaker. Discover the auditory awesomeness of more radio within the radio. Search DAB Plus and listen now. Streaming live via the 5AA Player app on DAB Digital Radio and on 1395 AM. This is 5AA, always Adelaide. With more stores close to home and everyday low prices, great food lives at Foodland, the mighty South Aussies. Rowie and Timmy G on the 5AA Sports Show. Nine minutes after five on this Tuesday. Still to come on the show, we've got Darcy Fogarty and Ned McHenry from the Crows. Another chance for you to win a four-day ultimate gather-round experience. Plus, right now, it's your time for your calls. 8223 0000. Punch it in the phone right now. Share your thoughts on the footy. $250 Shell V-Power fuel voucher up for grabs. Fuel the footy feeling with Shell V-Power, the official fuel partner of the AFL. And you can chat to Treaders. Throws it up long. Goal square. Treadray! <laughs> Warren Treadray. The Premiership Cup for the captain, Warren Treadray. Oh, Treadray! Party time! On the 5AA Sports Show. Welcome, Warren Gary Treadray. Thank you very much for coming in. Port What's up? your middle name, Tim? I don't have one. What? Oh, there was that many kids. Mum and Dad ran out of names by the time they got to me. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> really? No, no, no middle no, name. No, isn't it G? What? No. Timmy G, do you know that? G. That's what it is now. Because he like calls me KG. Warren yeah. Gary every week. Yeah, I'm like, what is yours? Yeah. Yeah. Don't have one. Stephen? How's that? Yours? James, James. James. Stephen James. Yeah. It's a long linear of Jameses, and I've got a James. Yeah. Yeah. Sam Tuggers Tugwell? Mm. Uh, I'm a Blake. 
Yeah, Blake. Yeah. Yeah. You don't look like a Blake. No, I don't feel like a oh, Blake. Go either. back to mum and dad, sort that out. <laughs> so, yeah, you can't get me Skipper on that one. good. You right. can't get me on that one. Right, but you get me on this. Let's look, go. Yeah, look, it was a seven-point loss. I think a frustrating one for a lot of Port fans. We, we got that on the uh, phone calls after the game, the feedback. But how did you see it? Because in the end, you look at all the stats and you go, there's a lot of green there. Yeah. But no win. Well, it's a missed opportunity. Isn't it really? And that's um, the frustrating. That, that's thing. the frustrating bit because I, I watch um, Ken's press conference post game. There was no excuses. It was a reality. Clearances fifty two thirty seven. Uh, clearance to score Melbourne were huge, and that's probably the difference. They had less inside fifties, less clearances, but scored better, um, more efficient, and disposals a plus forty odd. So that's the bit that you know got slaughtered in the hitouts. But I thought Soldo was good, but Port win the clearances. So that tells you. Whilst Gorn was dominant, it didn't affect the other areas of the ground. So mm. I thought our midfield did really well. Um, some big numbers were put up. I think Ollie had 10 clearances. He's pinged a hammy. I didn't even know about that until 10 minutes ago mm. when Paul put out their... Um, but apparently that happened in the second quarter. was really, really minor. Played the rest of the game out. Um, mm. So then obviously testing was in six-day break. So mm. they... Um, Horn Francis will come back this week. Um, definitely? Well, nothing's definite. I, okay. I, was, I can tell you right now, I, I was doing some board stuff reading some reports and i was at training and i had a meeting at the, the social club yep um at alberton the, the precinct there so i actually watched training and i'm like wow this bloke looks like he's ready to play and then when they say he's available i go ah yeah. he's trained One the full session too, like yeah that. i did see ollie running um strides down the side though so that hemi yeah. can't be that bad so that's good news one out one in that is good post game we had a caller who was quite upset and basically said it was deja vu one thing, and I got a text today, which I want to throw a few stats that were thrown at me, um, and this is Port Adelaide at Adelaide Oval. So we're talking since tw- 2014. Yeah, it's 10 years now. So Port are 77 wins and 46 losses. So you go, That's pretty good, good. 62% sort of win uh, loss ratio percentage. So you think that's not too bad. Then it gets broken down. Against top four sides as per end of mine around position, they're at 39%. If you go fifth to eighth, they're actually at 27%. And then if you go top eight sides at night, 11 is 33%. So they're just building the expectation here of mm. big games at night, Adelaide Oval. Versus the bottom 10, they're at 70%. Yeah. So they, 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 they protect the, the, the home and, and win against those, those bottom 10, which then gives you enough wins to play finals and hopefully have a crack at it. But the, the big thing is winning, as as was another opportunity, yep. Saturday night. Saturday, Against a quality opponent. Saturday night games at Adelaide Oval, they've had 12 wins, 23 losses. Ooh. That's not a great stat, is it? No. It's not a great stat. So um, Thursday night's a smaller sample, five wins, three losses. Friday night, so they actually like Friday nights, um, they've had 11 wins and, and four losses. So, so not, you go, well, let's play Friday. Well, it's thanks. funny. <laughs> when you mentioned that, Timmy, I thought, well, maybe it's individual prep, how your day goes. And I'm and I just thinking off the top. Well, I used to have to, a long time ago now when I was playing, but I adjusted my, clearly adjust your report time. Then I used to get moving two and a half hours before a game. When I say get moving, if you've had a sleep, you've had a sleep, then you go down to the local park for a kick or a stretch or the beach or whatever you want to do. Then you have your meal two hours beforehand so you can digest most of the food, that sort of thing. So I worked on a prep and I was thinking with those first numbers on Saturday night games, maybe the players are sitting around for 12 hours from when they wake up to when they're going to play, it's too much idle time. But if they win on Fridays, I don't know what that is. So the other thought is off the top of my head. You're a good team, not a great team. Well, it's probably... Great teams win then. Yeah, well, that's probably why we have And that's a big sample size. Yeah, that's a sample size. But then also, too, it's such a big sample size, it goes on different eras too. Because half of my teammates have played in the early Adelaide Oval era, some of them, if yeah, you know correct, what I mean, who correct. I played with. So it's, it's, not, a, it's, it's a long period of time. Group. It's not but just this the group. other bit mm. too is Saturday night games are more often not against your bigger rival, aren't they? Big rivals. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, you've got to get you've got to get good uh, eyeballs. Yeah. So for it. Yeah. that's the TV game. Mm. If it's a national broadcast yeah. seven, it's a it's a highly rated game. We know that the twilight Saturday or the Saturday lunchtime days and the twilight mm. games on Sunday against your lower pulling crowds and or your poor performing teams. Like West Coast at the moment will get a lot of Sunday twilight games because of where they are on the ladder. Mm. So I guess I guess it's like anything, it's it's numbers, but 
measurables were there was a lot to like about what I saw from Port, but the execution still hasn't been answered. So Ken Hinckley, over the journey from last year's straight sets finals out, I've heard him say big moments, big moments, win big moments. We're going to train to win big moments. We need to Incremental identify, improvement. Yeah, identify big moments. How are the big moments going for your club? Oh, well, I'll take the one piece of sample size, which is the weekend, which is against the best opposition Port yeah. have played. You look at the difference between Ben Brown, Neil Bullen, Gorn, and to an extent, Cozzy, even though his goal should have been touched on the line, they got four goals out of that. On memory, Finlayson misses one close. Dixon misses one. I think Marshall may have missed one. Houston missed one from outside the arc. You keep 11 points. Well, mm -hmm. the, simple put, I think I looked in the uh, RA insurance stat sheet at the end of it. it before Finlayson kicks the last one with 20 seconds to go and he rushed the set shot, mm -hmm. it ended up 6-5 from set shots, Port, it was 5-5 five, five before that compared to 8-2. Yeah. And the only reason Melbourne won the game is because of 8-2. And I'm yeah. not saying, I don't want to disrespect their performance. It was brilliant. But they were clinical. They were tough. They kept a lot of pressure on. They did some really good jobs. They won the stoppage like, when they needed to win the stoppage. The big moment. Yeah, so you look at clearance to scores, they're probably, I'm guessing, 10% more than Port, mm. if not more, because they had a hell of a lot less inside 50s and they scored and outscored Port Adelaide. And when they yeah. did, they took their chances. Yeah. Oh, the other thing, too, is goal line mistakes. There were three goal line mistakes that Gorn kicks the... No, who is it? Neil Bullen kicks one from out wide or even Ben Brown. And it should have been touched. It wasn't. The Radagalia one where he went chest mark instead of hands or spoil. Which was the Cozzy snap. Which was the Cozzy snap. And then there was a Burton one that was sort of messed up there too. So that's three where you... It was just obvious. You protect two of those, you win. If I said if you, you execute one more set shot, you yeah. win. I know if, buts and maybes. Yeah. But you've got to build steel and resistance at moments like this throughout the season. That's right. To draw upon in finals. That's right. And, so and that, that's what you've got to get right. Yeah. If I just said this one stat, one team has 14 marks inside 50. The other team has seven. Mm. Which team wins? The seven did. The, that, I only say that because I know the numbers. I know, but that, that's mind-boggling. But we've always heard it, and I've heard it ever since I was a kid growing up. Malcolm Blight said, the footy gods give you only so many chances. Okay. And you've got to take, you can't blame anything else. Like, we, poor fans can't whinge about application. They can't whinge about Soldo smashing into Gorn all night, night long. The defenders, and I thought the small forwards were really good for Port. Big forwards have got some work to do, but Dixon's hands are unbelievable. Set shot was missing. Key yeah. defenders, more often than not, you know, Radaglia made that mess on the line, but intercept marks, I think he took something like seven. So it's not far away, and I'm not here to preach the old, oh, yeah, going to go on and dominate. But you, you, through resistance and through preparation and, and just stealing yourself, and it's flying miles, you know what I mean, for a pilot. You've got to just learn, learn from your mistakes and embrace this because the set shot stuff, the only ones that can fix that, coaches are trying their best and I'm privy to I the just process said it in the doing. Opener. They have done an everything. enormous amount of work on everything. it. Everything. And they'll do they, it again today in training. And work players have to pick it up and do it. It's up to the individual to nail their mm. shot and it's senior players got to stand up when it matters. What about this one? It's a, a unique home style food text that came in from Gary. Thank you. Uh, it says, I watched the power Collingwood and Crows matches last week. Power players should watch Collingwood. The pressure and controlling the ball. Port are a level below them. Port forward line has not worked well enough for 10 years. They're not mobile enough, tackle or mark enough or accurate with their kicking. Only three tackles in total for Dixon, Finlayson, and Marshall last weekend. Yeah, that, that's not their one wood, is it? It wasn't my one wood unless the blokes ran India. And then you, you heard them say they don't come the year again. I think that's the pressure but, but I think back that, to the beginning. Yeah, but and then I think also, too, if you look at Collingwood at the top of my head, they have Majacek, who's good at pressure. Mm. They generally have a resting ruck. Who else plays down there? Do they play two talls or three? Two, I reckon. Because how they're, sometimes they're always, played as the Jamie extra. Elliott, yeah, 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 they only play two. Mm. So that's maybe something that mm. needs to be looked at. And I want to flag one guy. I watched on the SANFL app on my Don't iPad know. on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Watch... The first half, particularly, Port Maggie's. Didn't yep. want to send about the second half. Mm. George Artis, I thought, in Looked a team good, he? Struck, he looks mm. like a bloke who's not recovered from a knee reconstruction. He yeah. looks ready to go. So I'm sitting there going, what decision do I want to make? Do you want to play two rucks, right? And you bring Sweet in because you're playing against Essendon, who generally plays two rucks. And we, I think we talked about it briefly last week. Finlayson's the one for me that it's either 
he stays in as a forward and you pinch hit that role and stick with it because he did some good stuff there, but you've got to be hitting the scoreboard more often than not. Or do you go back to playing, put Dixon in there for five minutes a quarter and then you let George Yardis and Marshall be the two forwards in the forward line? And I think that's a discussion that has to be had. Yeah. Um, Josh Carr said this about Mitch Georgiades. Does he have to do more? Um, I think he's doing what he needs to do at the SNFL level and, and, and keep improving, which he's been doing. I, I sort of interpret that, that, that he <laughs> won't be in this go. week. Yeah. Curry gave us nothing, didn't he? Yeah, it just... <laughs> but that's I, Josh. I just, Come on, Doug. Well, that, give us something. Josh. I just read that as n- not yet. He, he's, yeah. stu- he's doing well, what he's what, doing and, know, and we're happy with the way He pulled out of the Richmond gig last year, right? I reckon he's doing his training as a senior coach to be with giving nothing away and media messaging. Mm, well, that's all that was. I interpret it as he's not playing. <laughs> that's, <laughs> I think that's the way I, I got it. So, mm. yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to get to your calls straight after the break. Eight double two three double o double o. I've got the sense that some umpiring inconsistencies oh, might get a mention oh, oh. very shortly. Oh no, they're being pretty good over oh, this year. Let's check no. your roads out there. Uh, thanks to the Marty South Aussies Food Land, where everyday low prices and great food lives. G'day there, Ad Salisbury used to break down on the Grove Way near Cobbler Creek. Really slow bear at the moment. Very backed up. Allaby Garden. Gardens, a crash there, Grange Road at East Avenue, and a crash at Woodville 2, Port Road near Woodville Road. Getting busy, Anzac Highway at the Marion Road intersection with Cameras Military Road West Beach and the North South Motorway at Waterloo Corner. This April, Bob Jane T-Marts have great buy three, get one free, plus instant cashback deals. With 15 stores located in Adelaide, they'll look after you, T's and C's apply. Adelaide's most accurate traffic on 5AA. The 5AA Sports Show with Rowie and Timmy G. AFL Gather Round returns to Adelaide this weekend. To celebrate, KG and Cornsey are taking the Saturday morning sports show on the road. Live from the Barker Hotel this Saturday from 9am. Make sure you stop by and take in all the pre-match atmosphere before the Sydney Swans and West Coast Eagles clash at Summit Oval in Mount Barker. It's all thanks to the Barker Hotel and 5AA. Always Adelaide. Try the Barker's spacious bistro, lounge and bars for quality food and family fun in Mount Barker. Book at thebarkerhotel.com.au The cost of living keeps rising. Thankfully, so does the sun. That's why more Aussies are getting smart with Solar Heart. Go solar today and get up to $1,000 off a Solar Heart solar power system and battery package. That's right. Get up to $1,000 off when you purchase a 5 kilowatt and above Solar Heart solar power system and an eligible Goodwee battery. Lower your energy bills with every sunrise. Get smart. Get Solar Heart. Terms and conditions apply. Our community is alive and we all deserve to enjoy it. For those who need in-home support or community access, Always Care is always there to assist with everything from shopping and appointments to outings such as movies, the beach, sport, classes or social events. If you or a loved one requires in-home, personal or nursing care or company while out and about, Always Care is NDIS approved and passionate about helping all live their life to the fullest. Find out more at alwayscare.com.au. Everything under the sun cops a hell of a beating. I know I did on the weekend from UV rays. So cover things up. They last longer. Don't be a fool. Correct. And I'll give you a stat here. Two and three Aussies will be diagnosed with skin cancer, which kills twice as many men as it does women. So don't be a statistic. Be sun smart, blokes. It it is scary, that, isn't it? It it does scare me, that. Now, it starts with checking the UV, remembering to slip, slop, slap, seek and slide every day. But there's plenty more sun smart smarts where that came from, Timmy. Correct. I'll give you a couple. Did you know sunscreen takes 20 minutes to fully activate? Didn't know that. Only works up to two hours. Didn't know that. Windburn myth. I thought it was a truth. Told you a hundred times. Yep. UV level three and above are dangerous no matter what the temperature. And every skin tone is vulnerable to sun damage. Okay. Okay. So check out the 5AA YouTube and Facebook live streams to see the daily maximum UV. Download the Sun Smart app, cover up and protect your damn skin. Now is the perfect time to power into a Mercedes AMG. For a limited time, you can take advantage of a 4.99% comparison rate when you finance a new Mercedes AMG with Mercedes-Benz Financial. Visit your local authorised Mercedes-Benz retailer today to make the most of this unmissable offer. Terms and conditions apply. Approved customers only. Lending criteria and fees apply. Australian Credit Licence 247271. As we all know, SA is going through a housing crisis right now. 
but McGain Real Estate really want to help. If you're a landlord looking to sell your property, but you're feeling a bit guilty about disrupting an awesome tenant, McGain have landlords ready to purchase your property and keep that tenant in place. The team at McGain have hundreds of landlords ready to buy investment properties, so there's no need to stress about asking the tenant to move out or waiting for the lease to end. Visit mcgain.com.au Vitae Health Supplements are now available at Chemist Warehouse for just $49.99 a bottle. You save over $19 a bottle at Chemist Warehouse. With more stores close to home and everyday low prices, great food lives at Foodland. The mighty South Aussies. Rowie and Timmy G on the 5AA Sports Show. 26 after 5, Darcy Fogarty to join us very shortly. We've still got another four-day double pass to give away to Gather Round, so stay tuned for that. But Treaders is here all taking your calls right now, 8223 Yes, yeah, certainly is. We've got Paul at Virginia. Fire away, Paul. How you going, boys? Thanks for taking my call. i uh, just got a question for Treaders. I've got a couple of points to make. Um, uh, I've seen the stats on the weekend about Port Adelaide. Ever since the start of 2023 season, they've actually played 19 games. They've won five games against the top eight team and 14 games against the the, um, the bottom 10 team. I just I just think that Port is still below those, you know, top five, six, um, six teams on the AFL. And I'm not quite sure what it is. I just, I, I watched the, the games, the replays on, on the weekend and, just watching Butters and Rosie, like when they play against the top team, there's there's that under pressure kick and there's under pressure handball straight into a to a player that the you know the, the tackles come into tackle. So I'm not. Um, I just want to uh, shoot a question to to uh, to Dredger about what he thinks that the boys need to do to get above uh, and get to that state of you know playing together with the play against the, the better team and also with our set shot. I know you touched on it with uh, just before on, you know, it comes down to the player's mindset. Um, Jody, surely you can come out of the, the board as well and go out there and teach the boys how to actually kick straight. <laughs> no, I had my challenges with that. Um, but I think, if anything, I think it's process and building resolve in your routine for goal kicking and then the opportunity. And you know, I work with Ben Perkins, and Benny listens to this show a lot. He's probably walking his dog in Brisbane right now. He always gives me feedback on my segments. But um, he was great for me because it was all about first thing you ever do, get back off your run-up, understand where the mark is so you don't kick in the man on mark, two deep breaths to lower your heart rate to recover, and then get your movement in alignment. And, and your attention. So it's not almost like, oh, yeah, I need to concentrate. Concentrate is like a past thinking. Attention is to detail at that time. So for me, that's what worked for me. But there's no doubt, and as Timmy touched on before, I'm privy to how much work these boys have done, particularly over the preseason, new people they've got involved in the program, and by all reports, it's going really well. It obviously hasn't 100% translated to on-field. That is one thing. You mentioned the record. If they, those are accurate numbers, uh, which... Yeah, Timmy, we touched on a bit before. That's probably the, the reason why Port's fallen ever so short. And in big moments, you know, you've got to find a way to stand up. And it's no simple thing as opposed to don't think about what could be or should be happening or who we want to play or what happens. The attack on the football needs to be the same in round one as it does in a grand final. And if you're consistent and you perform consistently, the rest will take care of itself. And that is the bit. You've got to take your opportunities in front of goal. And we mentioned those games. If you don't have a record against great records against top four teams, it's because you're not taking your opportunities or you're not winning enough footy. And a lot of those times, I think we've talked over the journey, Tim, where key misses. Yeah. Key misses at key moments aren't going to win your premiership. So that's something that glass half full, they've got to get better at. Let's go to John at Nord. G'day, John. Hi, Tim, Warren and Stephen. Uh, D- D- Dylan Williams, he's only 22. Geez, I hope he gets the go. I watched him play last year, and he's going to be a very good defender because he goes straight, he doesn't pull out. What do you think of it? I know he must have just missed out last week. Mm. It was emergency, and, so he, th- and therefore 
couldn't play the Sandful game because that was on the Friday mm. and Port played on the Saturday. Mm. But I, I agree with you, John. I think he's a terrific decision maker and he's got very good skills. Oh, I must kick. admit, I, I yeah, he was a guy that was a early first round pick or second round pick. I thought he was almost gone. Then last year was given a reprieve for a one year contract and to his credit, he played every game. He was sub once and he dominated. I mm. thought he was brilliant. I must admit, he's fallen out of the team from what I see, just because other guys have... Burton had a really good pre-season and good couple of games. Houston, good start again. And Farrell's probably been that player that sort of been freed up in the role he played. The other bit, too, is Lockie Jones's form at the moment. looks like he's lost a bit of confidence, and people want to crack up at him. He didn't have a great game on the weekend, but the reality is he doesn't drop a chess mark or a multiple chess marks. He gets drafted because he's a good player. And he's just lost confidence. So depending on what they do there, I think the um, the situa situation is, I think he's got to get back into the team sooner rather than later because I agree he's a very good player. All right, uh, get back out there and uh, do your good work that you've been doing and uh, let's I, get a win. I don't do any good work. Friday Jim. night, thanks. No, All right. I'm not a coach. Leave get... me alone. Don't want a coach. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> do something. Do. Do. Just Five... do it. Do. do. Well done, Treaders. 5.30 headlines coming up. Darcy Fogarty from the Crows next. The 5AA Sports Show. Rowie and Timmy G. This is 5AA News, always Adelaide. Good evening, Mel Usher with the latest news headlines. A man charged over a collision that killed two people and seriously injured another two at Panola on the weekend has been granted conditional bail. New stats show ambulances lost more than 4,000 hours on the ramp during the month of March. Business owners in Alice Springs are pushing for a teenage curfew at night to be extended beyond a fortnight. And in sport, Geelong has avoided punishment over an unintentional breach of AFL integrity protocols during yesterday's win over Hawthorne. Now checking 5AA traffic. At Salisbury East, a break down on the Grove Way near Cobbler Creeks. Pretty slow and backed up to Bridge Road at the moment. Another crash at Allaby Gardens, Grains Road at East Avenue and a smash at Woodville Port Road near Woodville Road. Busy for works at Ottaway, Grain Junction Road near Rose Street with cameras Port Wakefield Road, Jeps Cross and Prospect Road at Blair Athol. At Dan Murphy's, they don't match competitors' advertised prices. They beat them at Dan Murphy's lowest liquor price guarantee. Teas and C's apply. Choose to drink wise. Adelaide's most accurate traffic on 5AA. The 5AA forecast, partly cloudy overnight down to 12, a shower or two tomorrow, 21. Right now it's 18. We'll have more news at 6 and as it happens on 5AA. Gather Round returns to SA this weekend and together with Maccas, we want to get you there in style. That's right, Will. All this week we've got your chance to win a VIP experience for Port Adelaide versus Essendon on Friday night. It includes a double pass to the game, a Macca zipline experience and exclusive pre-game viewing on the boundary line during the team's warm-up. So keep listening to us on 5AA Breakfast from 6am all week for your chance to win. Something big is coming to Maccas, the official partners of Macca's Footy Festival at AFL Gather Round. La -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. Morning, Debbie. <laughs> oh, check the crack, not you again. Sorry, job to do. <laughs> Don't wreck the house, I'm about to get a revalue. I could knock a hundred grand off the price dead easy. But don't! I did warn you with that crack in the cornice over there. Sorry. Don't let cracks ruin your home. Adelaide Screw Piling will underpin your foundation, saving you thousands. Fully licensed, servicing all suburbs. Go to adelaidescrewpiling.com.au Struggling with your CPAP therapy? Try the world's first auto-fitting mask from Fisher & Paykel Healthcare. Respirake Healthcare is offering the Fisher & Paykel Sleep Style device for 30% off, plus a free solo mask valued at $310. Visit one of six Respirake clinics and mention this ad to redeem this offer. Respirake Healthcare, proudly serving South Australia for 20 years. When considering whether CPAP is right for you, speak to your doctor. Always follow the directions for use. Hey you, right now you're listening to a radio ad about DAB Plus Radio on the radio. Think about it. It's like the cells inside your brain that's inside your head that's on top of your body are informing you that you can listen to this station in digital quality on a DAB Plus Radio for free or on a smart speaker. Discover the auditory awesomeness of more radio within the radio. 
Search DAB Plus and listen now. If you need to fix your pipes, call Precise. Call Precise. If your toilet's blowing up, call Precise. Call Precise. If your lights aren't turning on, or your hot water is gone, or a plumber or an electrician, call Precise. Precise. Precise Plumbing and Electrical. Call 1300 700 200. That's 1300 700 200. Precise Plumbing and Electrical. On time, on budget, on the job. Or a plumber or an electrician, call Precise. What makes Ray White the big name in business broking? They're people, like multi-time SA Business Broker of the Year, Brett Buckley, and his team of business professionals. They take a deep dive into your business, finding value and potential, and they know what they're looking for, because they know businesses. They're not real estate salespeople trying to sell businesses, they're business people selling businesses. If you want to know what your business is worth, touch base with Brett. Search Ray White Business Sales SA, Multiple Business Broker of the Year Awards. With more stores close to home and everyday low prices, great food lives at Foodland, the mighty South Aussies. Rowie and Timmy G on the 5AA Sports Show. At 24 minutes to six, we have another chance for you to win a four-day gather-round pass. You do not want to miss your chance for that because it is a sellout. All nine games across the week coming up, so stay listening for your chance to win. And keep your calls coming in, 8223 0000. Share your thoughts on the footy from the weekend and your excitement for Gather Round. We've got a $250 Shell V-Power fuel voucher to give away. And we've got those doubles to give away too, haven't we? Fantastic. Well, Crows lost, we know that. Crows uh, power forward is Darcy Fogarty. He joins us now. Fog, welcome. Hey, guys. How are we? Oh, Fog, I didn't see 0 and 3 coming. No, no. Well, she's a bit of a tough... Tough start, but um, yeah, hopefully we can get out there this week and, and respond. Yeah, I'm confident about that to some degree. What's wrong, you reckon? Um, oh, I don't think it's too much, uh, Rowie. I think we're just sort of falling away from our structure and our game plan a little bit, and um, we might just be getting sucked into the ball a little bit too much. So okay. a, real, uh, a real change for us this week is we're going to try and hold a bit more shape around the ground and and we're going to get after it. I think we're uh, we're lacking a little bit of pressure around the around the ball and and losing our shape a little bit. So I think they're they're two fixes that'll that'll hold us in good stead. I think. Okay. So so what's changed? Why have you lost your shape? What? Why have you been stagnant with ball movement? Why are you still winning it but not connecting inside fifty? Why Why did you only kick four goals on the weekend? All the what's changed, Fog? Because you're not the same team as last year. Um, yeah, I think I think it falls down to a little bit of connection on on offense. I think it's uh, the lines aren't too connected at the moment. It's it's quite unpredictable footy, but um, yeah, it's it's small tweaks. It, it's never usually something too big in in the game of footy. It's um, something that we can, we feel like we can fix pretty quickly. And um, yeah, I think it's it starts off the shape, which then just gives us time and then allows us to use the ball a little bit better. Um, what's it like playing in that forward line at the moment? Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. It's a little bit frustrating at times, but I'm sure every line's frustrated. It's it's more so playing in the team. It's a little bit frustrating at times, but yeah, I'm I'm confident that the team will respond and mm. and we'll it'll all click soon, and then yeah, we'll be back to our best very shortly. Okay, what do you need to do to get more looks at it inside fifty one on one? You know, getting when you guys were at your best, and you, you talk about shape and speed of ball movement, connection, and you know, leading patterns and you used to get a lot of one-on-ones. I'm not seeing a lot of that. So, so what do you put that down to? Um, yeah, well, I think we've got to be able to shift the ball off the line. We can't just keep going, yep. keep going down the line to their numbers. Um, we need to be brave with the ball, and and well, firstly, we need to win the contest, don't we? But once we do that, we need to be able to be brave and move the ball quickly and really test out, um, test out teams and try and get get the ball moving before they can get set. So. I think that's something we've been caught. We've just been bombing it down the line a little bit, and the ball movement's been stagnant. But um, yeah, I think a lot of the a lot of the problems fall off our lack of shape. I think we're we're limited to that with being so skinny on the ground. So if we can adjust that a little bit, we'll have more options, and we'll be able to move the ball a lot more free. In the preseason, there was a lot of talk about changing the ball movement to, to be perhaps more defensive. Um, is it a matter of now of going, okay, we need to reset and start this again to get some of that more of the attacking mode that you are in last year? 
Um, yeah, a little bit, but then, yeah, on the other foot, we can't lose that mindset where we just uh, are willing to turn the ball over and then concede goals that way. So um, we need to have good good defensive shape on the ground, and you, that usually, I think, you'll find uh, tends to set up the ground well offensively. So if we're all in sync, um, yeah, I think, what's the saying, the old uh, good offense comes off good defense. So yeah. we're looking at that sort of mentality where we can get shape in defense and then really attack off that. Now, I'm not sure if you've been to the lost and found, but Riley O'Brien said, you've lost your mojo. Where is it? Where's the mojo <laughs> well, gone? Obviously, it's not too far away. There are, there are some things that, that can be found very quickly, and I think teams have shown that um, in previous years. It's, it's all very exciting. We're not, we're not too far off. You're never as good as you seem, and you're never as bad as you seem. So I think once, once things click, once we get a few little minor... Well, not minor, but a few little uh, nooks sort of rubbed out. I think we'll be we'll be fine. Mm. You've kicked two, four in your three games this year. Foggy, are you playing a similar role? Um, yeah, playing a similar role. Yep, I'm just sort of yeah, a little bit frustrated in front of goal at the moment. Not really converting like I like I normally do. But um, yeah, I think hopefully continue to get looks and yeah, I'll put a bit more onus on myself to to finish me goals and have more of an impact on the scoreboard that way. Okay, so so is ball movement brought up a lot amongst the reviews with the coaches? I mean, you, you're using this word shape. I haven't heard it all year. I used to hear it a lot with um, James Riley. Every time we interviewed him, it was about shape. Is that just something that's come out? Of, of you, have you trained the way you're wanting to play or have you trained the way but you're just not executing it on Saturday? What is it? No, yeah, we've definitely trained it. Um, I think, yeah, we're just not not quite executing on game day. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think the boys are working really hard and sort of working hard in defence and, um, yeah, we're sort of following the ball to a certain extent and you've got to work your ass off when you're doing that and it's hard to come back at teams when you're, when you're fatigued and when you're gassed. So we're sort of putting the, putting the uh, fundamental execution stuff off, off the back of being tired because we're working so hard on defence and it's hard to attack teams on offence there, so... Yep. Once again, if we hold shape, it's sort of doing more is doing less sort of thing. So we can um, we can attack off that if we if we work together more. Yeah, has expectation got you as a group a bit? Do you think? Um, I don't think so. I think we sort of it's oh, expectations a privilege, really, isn't it? But yeah. maybe we have fallen into being the the hunter a little bit, or well, the hunted. Sorry, instead of the hunter mindset that we've had the last couple of years, we spoke about that during the week and. And how we can uh, definitely try and get that mindset back, and I don't think there's too many uh, too many boys being hunted at zip and three. So we've definitely got that mindset going into this week, where we're really going to get at Melbourne and really attack them and try and throw the first punch, I guess, and and uh, hold that throughout the game. So that's a massive mindset change for us this yeah. week. Is is really going to attack them and attack the ball and and hunt them for so. Well, nobody expects you to beat them. I, I go back to oh one uh, twenty one. Sorry, when you. I think you lost four in a row and you had him out at Adelaide Oval and you won in the last play of the day and Nitty kicked the ball up into the stand. It's it's going to be a similar mindset. They're, they're beatable and they were full tilt back then. Yeah, exactly. And I think we uh, we take confidence from those games. They're not, not too far away. And I think last year we had a couple of good games against them as well. So yeah. we're confident that our, good, our best footy is not too far away. And if we bring that, we, we've shown in previous years that it matches with the top teams. So... Um, that's what we're striving for, and and we know that it's yeah very much a mindset thing for us. And if we rock up, we're we're right in the fight. So um, that's a it's a massive emphasis for us this hey, week. And yeah, hey, what does, does that say? Hey, you're a part of the leadership group now. How's it changed your week? Like this week, especially you, you're sort of the, the zero three. Um, how, how's it changed your week now? What do you what do you do differently than what you would have been doing last year? Um, not a lot to be honest on, on these certain weeks. There's yeah, there's a little couple of meetings throughout the week that where we address certain uh events or trends that might be occurring and how we wanna how we wanna go forward and stuff, but at the end of the day I was yeah, it hasn't really changed a hell of a lot. The the people that have been voted in have been voted in for a reason, so I think it'd do a bit of an injustice if they got in the leadership and changed how they went about things. 
Well, well done, Fog. It's it's a big week. I hope you can get your shape or at least find it. Bring your best for four quarters and your mojo against Melbourne. All that and sort the mojo, of stuff, yep. you know. We, we've heard vanilla. We've heard all sorts of things. It's gather round. It's Thursday night. The eyeballs are on. It's a national stage, and I think that'll get the best out of you. Thanks for your time. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Well done, Dusty Foggy there, Adelaide Crows. Lines available, you heard it, Eight double two three double O double O. They're back to being the hunter. That is a big shift. Like it. Let's get your calls on that next, Eight double two three double O double O. But also, we'd like to give you the chance to get your hands on another ultimate gather round experience. Eight double two three double O double five. If you want this double four day pass to get to every Adelaide Oval game this weekend, take part in our nearest the pin. We're gonna take your calls next. Eight double two three double O double five. Let's check your roads. Break down to look out for at Salisbury East, the Groveway near Cobbler Creek, really slow and backed up to Bridge Road at the moment. Hello Gardens, Crash there, Grange Road at East Avenue and another collision at Woodville. Port Road near Woodville Road. Slow going for works at Glenelg North, Anzac Home near Pine Avenue with cameras, Port Wakefield Road, Steps Cross and Salisbury Highway at Wingfield. Step into the new BYD Seal and journey into the future. An all-electric vehicle delivering up to 650 k's of adventure. Test drive the new BYD Seal today. Adelaide's most accurate traffic on 5AA. Rowie and Timmy G on the 5AA Sports Show. South Australia is the festival state, especially if it's a festival of football. Gather round, people. Gather round is, is here. Go! That is superb! And another one for the power. Experience all that our great state has to offer and enjoy a football experience like no other. All the clubs, all the players, all the matches, all in our own backyard. Listen to Adelaide's 5AA right across the weekend and don't miss a minute of the action. He has been on fire! 5AA is your home for Gather Round. Need a forklift? Don't just get a forklift, get a Toyota forklift. Toyota is the world's number one forklift brand with a great range of pallet jacks, walkie stackers and reach forklifts right up to their leading Toyota counterbalance forklifts. Legendary reliability and safety with cleaner, greener electric options. Toyota can tailor the right forklift solution for you. It's all part of the Toyota forklift advantage. For more, visit toyotamaterialhandling.com.au Get a Toyota forklift. Woco? Blanky! Wolko! Blanky! Wolko! Blanky! This is a game Pool and I play. Each night I come out and put her Wolko! Blanky on. Keeps her from evaporating. But winter is coming. Soon she'll need her Wolko Guardian pool cover. Sure, the fun ends, but I know she's looked after. Chemicals sealed off from the light, water clean, and no need for your pump. Get your pool a Wolko Guardian pool cover for winter. Wolko.com.au I love it when you have a mate with a bus, a van, a truck, and a ute. Yeah. But you need four mates, one with a bus, a van, a truck, oh, and a ute. <laughs> They've never got all three. And none of them can promise five-star service. Like Avis, Truck Rental Adelaide, they are and should be your best mate. They're certainly mine. Correct. They've been SA's go-to vehicle rental company for decades, helping you work. You know, your work goes smooth, your holidays go ahead. Whatever you're doing with it, they will make it happen. So whether you need a bigger set of wheels to get the job done or just to get away, they've got you covered. Do you know they're family-owned? People yeah. think they're a multinational, which yeah. they are, the mm. brand is. But that's a South Australian Third generation company. They're the best people. Avis Truck Rental Adelaide. They've got a fleet of vans, buses, utes and trucks that you can drive with a car licence. That's important. They're sure to help you turn. Oh, I've got a massive problem in it. Hey, no, 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 no. No problem here. No worries You want a 22-seater bus? Out the back. Pick which one you like. No problems at Avis Truck Rental Adelaide. They're open seven days at 416 Port Road, West High Marsh. You can book online at avis.com.au or you can call them on 8241 5200. Hello, Frank Walker from National Tales. National Tales online store is open 24 hours a day over the entire Easter break with our famous spend and save. Yes, spend $4,000 online at National Tales this Easter and we'll only charge you 2750 or spend $2,000 online at National Tiles this Easter and we'll only charge you $1,450. But only online at nationaltiles.com.au. So rush online to National Tiles now and save.
Conditions apply. At Lordman & Pank, we offer a wide range of premium Essilor lenses to meet your individual needs. Shop today for $150 off selected digital progressive lenses. Offer ends April 3. T's and C's apply. See website for details. Lordman & Pank. We care for eyes. It's no surprise that Alfred James Funeral Homes is there for families in their time of need. They've been doing so for over 100 years. What may be surprising is the lengths they'll go to to help you pay tribute to the life journey of your loved one. A song choice that's unconventional. A eulogy that's both heartwarming and hilarious. Oh, and launching their ashes into orbit on a SpaceX rocket. Pre-plan yours with us now. Alfred James Funeral Homes, honouring lives in extraordinary ways. With more stores close to home and everyday low prices, great food lives at Foodland, the mighty South Aussies. Rowie and Timmy G on the 5AA Sports Show. It's nine minutes to six. Ned McHenry is going to join us after six o'clock. We still want your calls. $250 Shell V-Power fuel voucher to give away before six o'clock. But let's make someone's week. Well, it's Gather Round. We love Gather Round you will get a double to the four-day pass to every single Adelaide Oval match. Stephanie, how are you? Not too bad. Okay, it's easy. Here's Timmy. Hello, Stephanie. Okay, the question Hello. is, now this is the closest without going over, so, ne so it's nearest the pin, basically. Yep. So, mm -hmm. Steph, the question is, Scott Pendlebury has played the most games out of any current AFL player. He's played 387 games. How many games has he won of Ooh. those? Between 200 and 300. How yeah. about that? There you That's go. good. 200 and... Oh, hang on. 260. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Steph. We'll go to Jake. G'day, Jake. Do you know how many how go? Scott Pendlebury has won? I'll go 243. 243. Thanks, Jay. Let's go, Sam. G'day, Sam. G'day, mate. How you going? All right. What number do you reckon he's won? I'll go 222. Oh, Richie Benno. Good work there, Richie. Sam. All right. Richie. Richie. <laughs> Robert at North Adelaide. Robert, what's your guess of how many wins Scott Pendlebury's had? Hi, right, fellas. I'll go for um, 247. 247. Thank you for that. Last one, Josh. All right, Josh. Uh, 210. 210 for you. Okay, so the answer is 234, our closest to the pin. Sammy. Sammy. Yay, thank you. Is Sam with 222? Well done, Sam. You're from Mount no, Barker. It's not. That's... I'm from Mount Barker, mate, yep. Mate, you can go to every Adelaide Oval game. Love it. Thank you. I'll go to the Mount Barker one as well. Oh, yeah, you can't you're go a star, over, mate. Yeah, well you done. can't go over. Well, well done, Sam. Sam. Congratulations. Well done. Thanks, Closest guys. to that going over. Thanks, you enjoy mate. that. We'll have more chances to win during the week on Drive. And we've also got them on Dave and Will's show in Brecky. So stay listening to 5AA. We've got a $250 Shell V Power fuel card to give away. Hello, Ooh, Graham. Oh, yummy. G'day there, boys. How are you? Good, Graham. All yours. I've got uh, one for you. Look, I'm getting a bit long in the teeth, so I'll, but I'll try and be quick. Uh, CNN in America were talking about umpires, and they said that. We here in Australia, are for a national game, have no neutral umpires, and they thought it was pretty bad. But I've always thought that this is a national game, and I cannot believe that we haven't got neutral umpires considering every state's in it. And quite frankly, it should be taken away from Victoria and put in Canberra or someone neutral place, and, and the umpires go there. And, uh, I mean, if you look at all the umpires and where they come from, it makes it very hard. I know over in Western Australia there was a study done one time and all the interstate teams <laughs> don't do as well as the rest. So uh, my thought is, and I don't know what you think, but being a national sport, you would believe that by this time, and I don't know how many years old the AFL is now, but we should have, uh, you know, neutral umpires. Well, I think we've only got a couple South Aussies that are on the main panel. There might only be three West Australians, probably none from mm. New South Wales. They all come from Victoria. Why is that? Graham wants to grab them all and put them in Canberra. That is a nasty penalty. But we're led to believe, Graham, there. that they don't <laughs> barrack for any teams. They're, yeah. they're neutral and they're well, fair and they're... But what does it do, putting them in... 
Canberra. Doesn't no, change their upbringing. Doesn't change their upbringing. No. No. That's a, that's a difficult one. I know what you're trying to say, Thanks, Graham. Graham. Very difficult. I mean, you, you look at cricket and you go, okay, well, we can grab a, an umpire from India, we can yep. grab one from England and put which that into Which is what they a, do. Yeah, exactly, which is what they do now. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I, I can't see it happening with Australian rules. No, Very can't. difficult. Ian. Hey, guys, how you going? Good. Mate, I've been listening to KG and Corns. You've been listening to you, Stephen, about Adelaide. The facts are we're not good enough. And if you say, for example, would take Melbourne this week, they were blown. You line them up in their positions from the coach down full forward to the full back and line Adelaide up and see how many Adelaide coaches or players could get in the Melbourne side. And that's the difference between good and very average sides. Yeah, it, it brings you to tears when you do do that because there's players in that team that they could have drafted. There's players in that team that the Crows actually had. Levers one. There's a bloke named Little Cozzy Pickett that was sitting under our nose for Woodville West Torrance. Little Jimmy played with, but we went for other blokes before him, and he went late in the draft. There's all those things. I keep getting told every club can tell those different stories. Mm. I only care about where we are right now. We're Norton 3, and we got Melbourne this week, and stranger things have happened, Ian. Stranger mm. things have happened. I'm going to... Remain calm, deal in facts, without emotion, until I no longer can do that. Hello, Craig. Rowie, I love, I'm loving the tone I'm hearing from you, mate. I was expecting to hear you throwing the baby out with the bathwater, no. water, but you, you've grown, man. I, I love, I love what you're hearing. It's not the end of the world. It's not doomsday. What's well, happening? No, it's only round three, and exactly. you know, I'm not going to call it untenable yet. But there will be a time <laughs> when I will. No, but I will when I'm ready. Hey, but the, you, uh, you're asking the question about how they win this week. Yep, I know how they win. You remember, remember when? Go back four, or five. Remember they were 2020 where they won the wooden spoon and they were they were terrible. And mate, I reckon it was probably 2021. So Nick, Nick, they won a few games. You know, I reckon, I reckon maybe they did they beat Melbourne at Adelaide Oval. They did. I reckon Port were humming that year. I don't think they beat them in a showdown. Yep. The kids, they made it a dogfight and Correct. made it a challenge. Nixie just made, made kept it simple. Just said, "Boy, he just he just dumbed it down for him." I reckon he goes, "We are just gonna hunt. We are gonna be mongrels." And I reckon if they just focus on the basics, just like that, keep it. The acronym KISS, keep it simple, stupid, and just focus on that and just keep it simple for them, then it'll probably clear their heads. And, you know, then the class of Dawson, Rochelle, Rankin, that natural class will then just shine through once their heads are clear. Yeah. Now, Craig, you're right. I, I, I see this to Cornsy. If you were to say to me over the duration of Matty Nix's tenure, what's its DNA? I'd say, first thing that springs to mind, boy, they have a crack. They're in the contest. I mean, last year, again, another stat, we'll talk facts without getting emotional, Craig, uh, their, their, their losing margin was off the charts. Mm. It was off the charts. So they're in every game. They've lost that in three games. And the other thing I'd say is their speed of ball movement and their connection to the forwards. Now, they've lost that. They've lost the two things that I think define them. And made them exciting to watch. And and they had players. You can't play above yourself, but you've always got players that are playing and are in form. Mm. Name a player this year that's playing better than they did last year. Give me one. Cue the cricket sound. Matt, could you? Matt Crouch. Give me one. Or Matt yeah. Crouch. There's one. There's Good. One. Matt, Riley uh, O'Brien. Riley O'Brien. I like Riley yes. O'Brien's year. I'm going to Riley so far. <laughs> Okay. Now play crickets. Hello, Peter. Hey, boys. How are you? Good, thanks, Pete. Look, just a quick comment. We always go on about the umpires every single year. Yep. All right? I know it's hard. It bloody is hard when you're sitting in the stands and they're so bad, but we just got to let it go. The umpires are never going to change. You've got to be good enough to beat the umpires, right? Correct, correct. On, on the weekend, if you take the Port Adelaide game as an example... Right. The umpires yes. were absolutely disgusting, but at the end of the day, if you go back, stats don't lie. Port Adelaide kick goals, they win. Right? So, you know, we go on about this every single year, and it's almost that, you know, we get, hey, Rolly, I feel your pain. Trust me, I lost my voice on the weekend. But the mm. fact of the matter is, you've got to be good enough to beat the umpires. 
You yeah, stop I making agree. excuses, right? Put it beyond we doubt. Just have to, oh. you know, the, but I will say this to you, Rowie, is that it is hard that, that these umpires don't cop the criticism because they do get paid and the coaches aren't allowed to, you know, probably show their frustrations at the end of the game, yeah. which is probably not, you know, it's probably not a good look for the juniors, but... You know, Timmy, you would have seen firsthand some of the umpiring decisions in the port game were disgusting. But again, boys, yeah. stats don't lie. You've Pete, got to be well good enough. Pete, I'm with you. I, I've always, Great advice I've for always me. gone by the uh, notion that good teams beat umpires. Simple as that. So you've got to be able to... And I'm, I'm with you, Pete, 100%. So much so, I thought it was the most sensible thing I've heard in a long time. I'm going to give you a $250 oh. Shell V Power fuel voucher. Well done. Well there you done. go, Pete, for being a wise man. Well Excellent done. stuff. Six o'clock news time. Ned McHenry to join us next. The 5AA Sports Show with Rowie and Timmy G. Online, on DAB Digital Radio, and on 1395 AM. Talking Adelaide. This is Adelaide's 5AA. Partly cloudy overnight, down to 12. A shower or two tomorrow, 21. With the 6 o'clock news, I'm Mel Usher. Something big is coming to Maccas, the official partners for AFL Gather Round and Maccas Footy Festival. Concerns about repercussions from the local community for the driver who allegedly killed two people in a collision at Panola on the weekend were voiced in court today. The 51-year-old man appeared via phone link over the double fatal on Sunday and has been granted conditional bail. He's been charged with causing the death of two people and two counts of causing harm by dangerous driving. A couple aged 54 and 62 died at the scene. The accused will return to court in November. Two other women, 42 and 69, suffered serious injuries which are not life-threatening. The United Firefighters Union Aviation Branch says it's been left with no choice but to strike as it pushes for safe staffing levels. Leaked documents show 13 airports across the country, including Adelaide, are at extreme risk if there's a worst-case incident involving an aircraft. Branch Secretary Wes Garrett says it means travellers are being put in dangerous situations. When there's a restriction in our ability to do that, whether it be through staffing or resources, it has an impact on the travelling public's safety if there were to be a serious incident at an Australian airport. And it also has a massive impact on the safe systems of work that we rely on when we respond to incidents of that type. More than 800 members will walk off the job for four hours on Monday the 15th of April, the first day of school holidays in SA. Uncertain times for small business owners along the North-South Corridor project. Some say they're about to be kicked out of their workplaces in months with nowhere to go and only lowball offers have been put on the table during the compulsory acquisition process. Cathy from Fresh Kitchen Solutions at Richmond claims her business has been undervalued by half a million dollars. What we're finding here on this strip of road, if you own the land, you're fine. But anyone else that is a business in the, the inside those premises, we're just getting shafted. Be honest and really give us what the business is worth. But Transport Minister Tom Coutson-Tonas says there's an independent process that sets the valuation. The Parliament doesn't give us the discretion just to pay someone more because they feel that their business is worth more. And it might be worth more, but they need to independently verify it. The Prime Minister says the death of aid worker Zomi Frankham is unacceptable and has asked Israel to explain what happened. Ms Frankham was killed in an apparent Israeli airstrike while providing food assistance in Gaza. Israel is investigating the incident, which is believed to have claimed four lives. Anthony Albanese says the federal government is seeking answers. This news today is tragic. DFAT have also requested a call-in from the Israeli ambassador to Australia as well. Uh, we want full accountability for this because this is a tragedy that should never have occurred. It's all hands on deck at Adelaide Oval as Gather Round 2.0 kicks off later this week. Five of the nine games this weekend will be played at the iconic ground. A Gather Pie will be available, a meat pie flavoured with pepper jack wine from the Barossa. Hamish McClay from Balfour's has told Seven it's something special. It's been fun watching the, the production trials back at the factory. Certainly excitement as the, the pepper jack rolled in. 
Now turning to 5AA Sport. Get to the Riverbend Nationals at Dragway at the Bend, April 5 to 7. Thebend.com.au. Mixed fortunes for Port. Jason Horn Francis is available for selection for the game against Essendon on Friday night, but Ollie Wines will miss with a hamstring strain. Dan Houston wants a win for his 150th, but he says last week's loss wasn't all doom and gloom. We felt like we dominated in a lot of areas, all by getting the win, and we're in this area where we're trying to, you know, improve individually and as a team to get better and make sure we can win those games. And our focus this week has been, you know, been on those little things and making sure we're getting better and improving. It is round three but we've learned some very valuable lessons. Geelong has avoided punishment over an unintentional breach of AFL integrity protocols during yesterday's win over Hawthorne. Tom Hawkins was filmed using a phone while a lightning break was enforced at the MCG. AFL footy boss Laura Kane says the cats have been issued with an official warning. It was an authorised device user's mobile phone. It was a stop play situation due to weather and the staff member and the player were looking at the weather forecast. I know eager to return out onto the field as we all were. So we're comfortable with the information provided by Geelong and we're really thankful for their cooperation. And Sydney's Dane Rampey will miss the next three to four weeks after suffering a low-grade hamstring strain on the weekend. The Swans play West Coast at Mount Barker on Saturday. Now checking 5AA traffic. Your crates look out from the drive home. One at Ingle Farm, Montague Road near Walkley's Road. Another one at Glenelg East, dying the road near Brighton Road. And a car fire at Smithfield, Main North Road near Yulee Road. Breakdown to look out for at Saul's Breeze. The Grey Way near Cobbler Creek, pretty slow there. With a camera tonight, White's Road at Paralawi. FBOS fees are great for banks, not businesses. Pay no fees or terminal rental with SmartPay. Visit smartpay.com.au. T's and C's a minimum turnover apply. Adelaide's most accurate traffic on 5AA. Now the 5AA forecast. Get the Toyota forklift advantage. Visit toyotamaterialhandling.com.au. Overnight down to 12 and partly cloudy. A shower or two tomorrow, 21. Thursday, partly cloudy, 22. And Friday, sunny, 24. Right now it's 18 degrees. Now let's check what's happening on Nine News tonight. Thank you. I'm Kate Collins. Tonight's headlines. A grieving wife has paid tribute to her husband lost in a fishing tragedy. A man accused of stabbing to death a real estate agent will have his case fast-tracked. Adelaide's Easter holiday exodus has begun with a call for drivers to take care. And Glenelg's Jetty Road is getting a big upgrade. Nine News. Your news nightly at six on nine and on nine now. Arbor Vitae Health Supplements are now available at Chemist Warehouse for just $49.99 a bottle. You save over $19 a bottle at Chemist Warehouse. Who can fix the shower? Service today. Who can fix the power? Service today. Yes, we can, is what we say. Service today. From emergency plumbing to electrical and heating and cooling, no matter what size job you need, at Service Today, the answer will always be yes, we can. It's Service Today guaranteed or it's free. Can you fix the shower? Yes, we can. Can you fix the power? Yes, we can. Yes, we can, is what we say. Service Today. Look out for our bright yellow trucks. Jayco's Mega Easter stock sale is now on. Hop on down for exciting deals on all MY23 Jayco dealer stock. Save across the range. There's never been a better time to jump in a Jayco. Visit Jayco Adelaide today and soon. This doesn't sound like a conference. <laughs> this doesn't sound like a work trip. <laughs> and this doesn't sound like team building. Because conferences and events sound different with Discovery Events. With amazing venues in special places across Australia, including Adelaide Hills, Victor Harbour, Nagambi Lakes, Rottnest Island and Byron Bay. Sound great? Visit discoveryevents.com.au. Your destination for premier venues in unique locations across Australia. Your knowledge and skills have the power to brighten our world. So let them shine by volunteering at a Vinnie's store where your passion for fashion, taste for trinkets and flair for furnishings become an invaluable service to the community. You'll soon discover how a little care and kindness changes lives, including yours. Do good, feel good and learn new skills while you're at it. Sign up to volunteer at your local Vinnie's store today. Visit vinnies.org.au slash get involved. Easy, settle down. Who are you? Jack the Crack. Ooh, nice straight walls you've got there. What are you doing? Messing up your house, compromising its integrity. Why? See that little crack there in the corner? 
That's all I needed. Ben. Step aside, please. Don't let cracks ruin your home. Adelaide Screw Piling will underpin your foundation, saving you thousands. Fully licensed, servicing all suburbs. Go to adelaidescrewpiling.com.au. Streaming live via the 5AA Player app on DAB Digital Radio and on 1395 AM. This is 5AA, always Adelaide. With more stores close to home and everyday low prices, great food lives at Foodland, the mighty South Aussies. Rowie and Timmy G on the 5AA Sports Show. At 10 minutes after 6 on this Tuesday evening, we've got the 5AA Fishing Show coming up at 6.30 with Ned McHenry. But of course, it is the biggest footy festival week on the calendar. Gather round week right here in Adelaide. Give us a call, 8223 0000. I think we're all excited for footy to hit the shores very soon. We most certainly are, and joining us right now, thanks to TJM Equip, Nitty. Hello, Stephen. Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> Stevie. Before we just How are you, Tim? Money. Good to see you, too. I'm very good to see You're you. Uh, I was privy to having a look at your little pre-game rev-up that yes. I saw. So what, what went on there? I actually hadn't seen that back until we watched that. I had a bit of a laugh. It's a lot more animated. I might be someone, Tim, who you don't realise quite how full on you are until you watch yourself back speaking like that. You look like a... <laughs> Oh, my God. I'm looking at it now. Yeah. Jeez, I look like yeah, a going lunatic. Yeah, so, sorry. What was the message there? Um, the it's... message was a unique one. It wasn't as simple as the old school rev up, but usually we get a pump up from Dorse or um, text. But, yeah, I just got given the opportunity to, to tell a bit of a story that was in line with us as a, as a footy club and how we wanted to start. And, unfortunately, the result didn't go very well. So but I... you started well. well. We started well, Timmy. Started I'm not sure if I'll... Sensational. I'm not sure if I'll get the honours again, though. Didn't We didn't get well, the outcome, did we? I think I think... If... No, but the start was... You've you got to get... Yeah, you get about 10 minutes out of a rev like that, right? Mm. Or a story like that. Yeah. You got more than your 10 minutes. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> the story was actually, I'll tell the story. So the, yeah. the story I told was around um, a hedge clipping. So Tex Walker came to my house on Wednesday and he said to me, mate, your hedges are out of control. Like your garden looks like an absolute joke. And right. to be honest, our house, we live in suburban Unley, Timmy, 500 yep. square meters. Wow. And we've got three sheep dogs on that property. We've wow. got two land cruisers, like... It, it, we belong somewhere near Strathalbyn or Mount Barker. We need yeah. a bit more room, Timmy. So too, it, too small. It looks like a bit of a farm. Anyway, so my hedges are out of control, and Tex said to me, I'll um, drop a hedge trimmer off to you so you can sort your hedges out. Anyway, he, he dropped it off. He sent me a photo of the hedge trimmer, and he said, mate, you've got to be cruel to be kind. I thought, what the hell are you talking about? And um, and what he was talking about, referring to, was cutting that hedge Cut right back, back mm. and and putting adversity through those branches mm. so then those those branches grow back bigger and better. Yes. Um, so that was kind of the moral of the story. You face some adversity. How do you respond to that adversity? That's the important thing. Felt like the first yeah. few rounds we faced some adversity and then we wanted to bounce back. So that was the story. But you were shouting. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was the bit I didn't understand looking back. <laughs> so, so, so you told that story. Yeah, I told that story. That was See, what you're saying to the boys, so, Ted, he bought around this steel <laughs> shop tater, and then he said, you're going to be... Well, you told that story with that expression. Yeah, well, at the end, I think I was just saying, boys, this is an opportunity after a bit of adversity, and... Yeah. Um, yeah. Sounds like you should have been ringing up for the garden show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I reckon roll that same saying. one out. It didn't work. That's well, what I'm saying. Well, I'm never going to get the honours again, and my... Yeah. But no, but it actually did. At the 21-minute mark of that quarter, I called it. We'd had 10 inside 50s. Our conversions were over 50%, first time for the year. Yeah. Okay, we butchered it. We didn't quite put the score on the board. We looked the better team. I declared, I declared, we're back. Oh. And then I went the... Uh, Thanks to the hedges. <laughs> and then as soon as I went the... Uh, Thunder clouds. Uh. You went to tripe again. Uh, yes. Four goals for the game. What? What is going on there? Well, one no, thing I, I want to say, because you, you, you've spoken to, uh, to us before just about getting that ball movement right and trying to uh, get back to what was at the 23 season. I just had a look at your, your three total scores in both this year and compared it to last year. Yep. The total, and then I averaged it just for the three games. You're, you're averaging 55 points a game this year compared to 94 in the first three rounds last year. Yeah. It, that's, a, that's a big drop-off in score. Yep. 
Yeah, and I know, I think a lot of people, and Nixie might have referenced it, he certainly referenced it to us as a group, that a lot of people are talking about our offense, like we're not scoring enough. And, and that might be true in some ways, but we're also not defending well enough because the Crows is a team when we're at our best, our best offense comes off our best defense. And so when we're not defending well, we're not giving ourselves more opportunities to score. And it's about people playing their role to a higher standard. So someone like me, for example, who played on the weekend, I didn't play my role to a high enough standard within our system and, and that compounds and, and we don't end up getting a result to me. So we'll look to play our role better, we'll look to defend better and I've no doubt our offence will be better from it. We spoke to Darcy Fogarty at around 5.30. How used... was the big fog? Was well, it good? he's great. I love fog. You, you know that. Fog. He used the word shape nine times oh. in a 10-minute interview. Yeah, right. Oh, other than when maybe James Riley was around, I haven't heard that all year. Yeah, we did. We spoke about our shape, and that's um, so. Explain part of that for role those bit. that have just tuned in what shape is. Yeah, when a footy person uses the word shape. Yeah, what is shape? Good point. So, shape on the ground basically is when someone watching the telly can pause, and we watch a lot of footy behind the goals. So mm -hmm. that's the challenge for someone watching. They see in that broadcast view, they see the ball, and they see probably five to ten players around that ball. But but it's much bigger than that, right? We've got eighteen players on the ground, so it's where they're positioned right within that within that system and within that structure so at all times you can pause that screen from behind the goals and you should know where every player is and that holds us in good position to um uh, offense timmy and then defense as well so is that a good getting, enough explanation well, why well, not doing that bit, well enough it is in front of the footy behind the footy shape all that sort of thing he has the words no no Stra no well not all, blah, 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 all that kind of thing it's crucial yeah. and we're yeah, not doing no, it well it enough at the moment okay yeah okay so so he also <laughs> happy with that or what <laughs> that was brilliant it's not blah, 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 blah. <laughs> straight between the eyes no but yeah whatever he he also spoke about the fact that when you guys are really wound up mm. you're like bees to honey for yep. a better term yeah that loses shape yeah so if you're going to win it, because, Ned, you generally will if you win it, there's no good Timmy and I being in there. We need to be there for a handball, receive, or give the yep. contest shape. That's yep. what you're talking about. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, and that's sometimes what we're not doing that well. So, say, me, for example, there were circumstances in that game where I was a player who was B to a honeypot, went over to that contest and didn't necessarily impact or help or do anything, and I'm actually not playing my role by doing that. No. I need to be holding a different position. So yeah. there's circumstances with a lot of players where that where that's happening, and we want to try and get our shape, yeah. um, and that's clearly the buzzword, you know, whatever you want to call it, how the ground looks for us, that needs to be a little bit better okay. on the weekend. Fog was 100% confident that it's an easy fix. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is an easy fix. Well, I was really confident that we'd play better than what we did against Fremantle on the weekend. So words are words, right? Like it's easy to say it is. Yep. And we we are really determined um, to, to produce a really strong game on Thursday night, which is going to show and, and walk, walk the walk rather than talk the talk. Well, your reputation, let's just look at last year as a snapshot mm. against top four teams is outstanding. Yep. So this might be the game you need to have. Yep. This team's a top four team. Yep. And can I say something? Sorry, Timmy, I yeah, can see on. you winding up. You're a lot more just level-headed, though, so I'm looking forward to speaking to you. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Rowie's been less emotional this week. No, been I'm good. only dealing in facts. No, 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 you are good. I'm I love good. you. I love you with my whole heart. Nitty, I'm only dealing in facts. No, you're very good. What I want to say is from a footy fan, any team yeah. that's faced a bit of adversity with their win-loss in the first couple of rounds, yep. it's about picking up games. You know, Now we've left ourselves one or two more games to pick up in the next 20 games. That's what it is. That's the reality. That's all it is. The season is over 23 rounds. We saw yeah. sides last year find amazing form midway through the year that started poorly. Up, you know, poor GWS, come to mind, Carlton. GWS. Yeah. We will pick up a few extra games throughout the year. Now, I know that's easy to say. People will say, well, you're not in good form. It's easy to say that. I know, and I agree. We're frustrated. However, we have to pick up a few extra games in this next 20. That's the reality. We have to to play finals, and that's as simple as that. Your comment earlier about, you know, the beat of the honeypot, you know, is that sometimes, and not just you, but is, is it the want and the desire to do the right thing, to win, yep. uh, is maybe taking away the thought process of, no, I'm better off being here. Yeah. Because my enthusiasm to do well and to win the game, um, I'm, I'm just getting attracted to an area I shouldn't be. Absolutely. And that's the coach in you coming out because that's how the coaches um, help us with that message a lot and coach us through that. And the coaches are so clear. Like Nixie's so great at explaining exactly what your role is. And when we do it, we win, right? So when you see a result that's good, everyone plays their role and we win. So it's up to us to execute it as players. The coaches do a great job. So we keep chasing. 
No? Too much me and not enough we. No, I didn't say that, did no. I? That's, well, that's another what I'm thing into you've it. just gone that, and I'm put in my words. It. It's, more about the, into it. it's more about the over-enthusiasm no, we, we kick to do the right thing. That's, that's what but I'm But unfortunately, saying. what that brings about is the lack yeah. of shape. Yeah. Shape. That's mine. Case. Shape. All right, 20 shape. minutes after shape, six. sir. Barbecue shapes. We're going to find out <laughs> what's been happening on the water. <laughs> Ned, you've been fishing, so we're going to find out where you've been Always and fishing. what you've been up to. Looking forward been... to that segment a bit more. Catching, yeah, let's yes. get on to that. <laughs> let's do that next. Ned McHenry's here. <laughs> the 5AA Sports Show with Rowie and Timmy G. Hey, lads. A guy in the community reckons we take the overs. Do we trust him? Well, his username is Big Stats Guy. Say no more. Connect with a community of like-minded punters only in Labrox communities. T's and C's apply and available on website. You win some, you lose more. Right now with Booper, get up to 10 weeks free when you join on eligible products, plus up to 700 everyday rewards dollars. T's and C's apply. For award-winning health insurance, search Booper 10 weeks free today. Living independently is an important part of life. For those who need accommodation in a thriving environment with support and care available, Always Care is always there. We'll match your loved one with suitable housemates and disability support workers to ensure they enjoy independent living in a supportive community. If you or a loved one requires accommodation with care, Always Care is NDIS approved and passionate about helping all live their life to the fullest. Find out more at alwayscare.com.au. If you're packing up your family to travel across the land, the land will treat you different in a Dave Benson caravan. There's never any roadworks when you're driving Aussie made, and you'll always find a park that's nestled safely in the shade. The magpies will stop swooping, the kangaroos give way. You won't see a single mosquito at the end of each perfect day. And if the coppers pull you over, they won't wreck your plans when you tell them you bought Aussie made from Dave Benson Caravans. When you're gone, who gets the things most precious to you? Like your highly valued comic book collection or your 1976 Tirana in mint condition? If you don't have a will, you'll never know. Donlan Lawyers specialise in wills and estate planning. From the simplest to the most complex, Donlan Lawyers will give effect to your wishes. For wills and estate planning, Visit DonlanLawyers.com, Hindmarsh Square, Adelaide and Ocean Street, Victor Harbour. Thinking about a solar battery? Don't wait. Connect with NRG Solar and bring home a solar battery with a rock-solid 10-year warranty. Use the energy you generate during the day. Store some for later, reducing reliance on energy providers and putting money back in your pocket. See NRG Solar in their new premises at St Mary's. Bigger place, better space, some amazing people. Visit NRG Solar now at 1275 South Road or call 1300 858 160. The biggest threat to your business isn't your competition. It's cybercrime. Cybercrime threats impacting Australian businesses, large and small, continues to grow year on year. One call to one solution will put your business in a safe place and save you from the devastating consequences of cybercrime. It's the smartest, most cost-effective business decision you'll ever make. Stay safe and protected. Get in touch with One Solution. OneSolution.net.au, a Platinum Telstra partner. With more stores close to home and everyday low prices, great food lives at Foodland, the mighty South Aussies. Rowie and Timmy G on the 5AA Sports Show. It's 23 minutes after 6. You might be watching on our Foodland live stream. Ned McHenry is here from the Crows. But, of course, our 5 by fishing show beginning officially at 6.30. But what's been happening on the water? Well, let's J-M. talk about it. I'm officially done with tuna. 16.5 hours I trolled over three days, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. What, from where we trolling? Where, where, where? Putting it um, we're in it, just off the normal spots. I went out a bit deeper this time because a couple of the, um, the charter boats were out. So I thought, well, look. You, know, you just you follow them, go and, go and snake them, do you? You leech. Bit. You, 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 you leech. <laughs> you leech. Well, what, what, what did you do? Fish. You disgrace. You, you are a disgrace. What did you do? No, I went off Victor Harbour. I didn't even bother with these tuna because no, they've been so done. hot and cold. There are tuna still off Cape Jervis. Like, you're going to look at me and you're going to go, you no, there's doofus. Not. There's not. There no, is. Not. I promise you. My mate caught two yesterday. I promise you. Look at me. Would I lie to you, Rowan? No. Did he have a North Bank? Uh, he had a white North Bank. Yeah. I saw a white North Bank. Oh, were you fishing yeah. yesterday there with him? Yeah. I mean, I, I promise you. Did it, well, why didn't you catch any fish? Well, you said there were plenty I everywhere. I don't he did because when I went <laughs> past did. him, when I went past him, he Stephen. was he was jigging for a um, 
Kingies. Stephen, Stephen, I promise you, he's got two tuna. I've got photos and everything, dated. Mate, he caught tuna out there and you didn't. He did then. Get that around your head, mate. I promise you, there's still tuna oh, there. Tim, what are you laughing at? <laughs> no, there's not. Timmy, are there tuna off the Cape photo. Jervis or oh, not? Definitely. No, there's not. There so are. tell us what you did. Where are those barrels? Yeah. Oh, no, no. The barrels have started. <laughs> have they? Yeah, yeah. So for anyone following on with the fishing show, 6.30, yes. Sammy, we, we get going. What a great Tyson segue. Kane, the skipper of the Port Mac charter business down there, want to fish, is going to join us on the show. Tyson, mm. he's a gun, professional fisher. He has said the barrels have started going nuts down at Port McDonald. Yeah. So 160 was... kilos, Timmy, caught so, last week. Massive. So say it was to grab Timmy. And we were to drive down to Port Mac. Yep. What's it take? Five hours? Yeah, hours? I think about five what hours. What would it cost me? Uh, in fuel or... No, no, no. What would it cost me to go on his charter? Well, oh. it had cost him his mental health if he was in the car with you for that long. <laughs> 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 but in terms of fuel, what are we? About a dollar Stop ninety? Billy laughing, Sam. You're encouraging <laughs> oh, him. Look, Tim's in So genius. 200 bucks. <laughs> 200, would it be 200 bucks? Well, fuel, yeah. I don't, th no, I don't no, think no. it would be much more than that. What does he charge for you to oh, go out in his boat? Now I'm with you. Um, okay, about 300 bucks a person, See, I reckon, to jump on. And what, That's what, worth every cent. So mm. I reckon, let me put it this way, I reckon you're over half a chance of catching one of these fish with Tyson. Over half. Over 50% chance, Timmy. And what you can do is then leave with an kilo. esky pack of 20, 30 kilo worth of southern bluefin tuna. Okay. After he, I've given he, myself a lot of injuries yeah. trying to reel it in. <laughs> he, what, what, what's more likely, me catching a barrel or you winning Thursday? Oh, me winning Thursday by a mile. Over uh, a barrel tuna. Well, uh, well, let's can we can we do like a normal person trying to catch a barrel, and then we'll yeah, get the okay. statistics a little bit more even. All right. I, I don't have much confidence of you going down there and catching a barrel if you can't even catch one down at Cape Jervis at the moment. <laughs> That's true. So why don't you What's just a normal tuna forty? Oh no, I mine are anywhere from I don't know twelve kilo to eighteen. Oh, yeah, okay. right. Little 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 so jelly beans. This, this is huge then. Oh no, the, these are over a hundred. I'm only being half bigger silly. than the boat. No, no, they're huge to me. Hundred kilo. I'm oh. being serious. If you towed your nearest down there yep. and you got the right lures and you're in the right spot, you would be over fifty percent of a chance to hook and potentially catch one of these tuna. But the thing How is, Timmy, hooking them is one thing, but actually landing these fish is the is whole another. next level. And then getting it on the boat. Yep, yep. That's not easy. Next level, Timmy. So, Jeez. you know, occasionally it'll be two, three hours fighting these fish, and then you get them up next to the boat. I've got to do it one day. You've got to yeah. gaff them and get them in two blokes. You've got to get there. They're just yeah. amazing. It's, it's a lot of work. Do you, do you tar a lot of tuna. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, two gaffs in them, and then you have to get them yeah. over the side. But the fishery down there, you're surrounded by whales, and um, it's just spectacular, mate. How do you then, after that, get them in the cans with the lemon and pepper? That's hard. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> the whole other day, yeah. <laughs> so did you catch a snapper? I caught a snapper, yeah. Good so size. Victor Harbour, it wasn't massive. Um, everyone knows with the snapper restrictions, you can keep fish south of KI. So launched yeah. at Victor. Seven Mile Reef, everyone knows the Seven Mile Reef. Those yeah. coordinates are available online. So go there. That's where I was. I anchored a bit off the reef. So yeah. if you're anchoring right on that reef, you'll pick up a lot of crappies, as we say, uh, Timmy. That's yeah. where all the I crappies are. I call them shitties. Shitties, right. Can I say that? Yeah, yeah we have now. Right. We have did. now. Mm. Um, so you move just quickly off that, just about 100 metres, 50 metres off the top of that reef, yeah. right on the deeper edge, and just burly, and there's lots of snapper that cruise around there. So you burly? I burly, yep. I've there never I used do. burly there ever. For that second. Well, why don't ever. you use your burly? Burly for whiting fishing can be really, really good. So when you say burly, what would you use for a burly bucket? Uh, pilchards. Just pillies? Yep, just pillies. Oily, okay. lots of scent. You don't need to overcomplicate it. Yep, pillies yeah. are a really good burly. You use them for whiting as well? All the time. No. Nah. All the time. When you're on a mark, they just jump in the boat, warning. What about Don't when they're barely... not jumping in the boat? Oh, well, yeah. I get on the mark. I just keep moving until I find them. All right. Well, yeah. You're a better man I've than got me. a Minn Kota. You don't. No, you're... Stick that up, your bloody blue. You're Minn Kota. That's about 17 <laughs> grand, that Minn Kota. Actually dumped that. That. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a bit rude. <laughs> what did you say? It's a bit of back and forth. <laughs> I didn't was... even hear it. Yeah. So I've, I said, I've got a Minn Kota. Stick that up. You then insert swear word here. Oh, okay. We've dumped. Good. We've dumped that. Good. Yeah. Nice work, Sammy. So you've got to put a, you've got to put a bloody um, anchor down. No, I've got to put an anchor down. You know, Timmy, you know uh, this Minn Kota? It, it's, a, it's a device that you put on your boat. Just, operator. Just to make it stress-free. Just to, just to make it a bit easier. It's $17,000. Yeah. And and numbnuts over here, he has gone and spent seventeen thousand dollars on that. <laughs> and and here we are, he, he's begging everyone to go to the red koala on Prospect Road. How many windscreens are you fitting? No, wow. no, seriously. How many windscreens are you doing? And what does it do? Does it actually it's find the fish? It's, che it's cheating. Well, it's, I'm with your grandmother. It's cheating. It's cheating. It's seventeen thousand dollars. It is cheating. It finds the fish. How for rich you. is this bloke? Seriously, well, is it like Nothing a radar. He plays <laughs> dumb. He's in his. All, he's in his. The red koala. His old shirt there, acting dumb. He's seventeen grand. That. 
coming, Coda. Give oh, me a spell. Oh. Now, now, Ned, Ned, I said to Timmy, don't let me drag you down. I'll give you the same advice. You're starting to use my words. Oh, what did I say? Numb nuts. Oh, did I? Yeah. yeah come on. <laughs> yeah. Your grandma's listening. <laughs> yeah, she does. And by the way, yeah. she loves you, She was great. Loves you. <clears throat> Listen to oh, her the other God. week. Great yeah. feedback. You are great, Timmy. Everyone loves you. What though. was her number one feedback on you? On me. Well, she said mm. I'm rambling too much. That's probably <laughs> what I'm doing now. She said, don't waffle. Yeah. Can you look at, can you help me through this? I'm new to radio. When I'm rambling, just just look at me and just go, shut up. So far, I've enjoyed all of it. Okay. Well done, Nettie. Right. Thanks to TJ. For 6.30, well we're well going to head into the 5AA Fishing Show next. The 5AA Sports Show. Rowie and Timmy G. David Penberthy and Will Goodies. 5AA Breakfast. The Prime Minister and Energy Minister are defending the use of two defence.